last time we were all gathered here, you got to meet with the eye. And I told you many things. Anything you asked, I answered. But if you didn't ask it, you didn't get the answers. And I have a list of things that I'm like, hmm, so this is going to be fun. They probably should have asked that. They probably yeah. should have asked that. <laughs> One thing we did ask is, can we ever come back and ask more questions? Exactly. And the answer was no. 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 Yeah. <laughs> that makes it more fun. Why, why but you ask didn't... the correct questions? Come on, but, no. But, but you didn't ask why you couldn't come back, too. That's... No, we'll see. Yeah. yeah you know, see, those are the correct are. answers, I mean, the correct <laughs> questions, and we didn't have to we didn't have to ask them. Because, I, I uh, apologize for nitpicking. This is the this is the only time as a DM and you're the only people I have to nitpick to because everybody else just rolls their eyes. Don't tell us all the stuff we should have asked <laughs> after we can't ask anymore. Tim. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. I'm just mean. That's that's my mean side. It's breaking I mean. my immersion. <laughs> um <laughs> <clears throat> what a start. Krimnos was in flames the last you saw it, and the people were rotting away. You've spoken to the eye, you've wandered through the raven's wood. You made your way back out, you saw the corpse of the person you saw on the way going in, which was now more gone than it had started with. Not much left. What would you like to do? And back to the cart? Yes, back to Prime. Back to the cart. Back to the All cart. Right. That will have you, I assume, skirting from Nos, not going too close to it. And he's, yeah. he's about a quarter mm -hmm. kilometer uh, north of the city. And he's just sitting there, hands on his chest, staring off into the distance as you approach. Do we have we have like a, a drawn map, right? That, that you that have could, a map like, that was sketched out for you, correct? It was like basically so so the area that we were supposed to go, Tavi, is like around kind of the Asphodel area. Right? Am I am I correct in it's, thinking that? I actually have the map up on screen here, if you can see it. Yeah. And so you are here near Krimnos. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's pinging properly. Mm -hmm. And where you are headed is down this way. Okay, so towards Asphodel, not all the way there yet. Correct. It's just yeah. outside the mire, the despair lands. It's on it's on the edge between the Nessian woods and the despair lands. Got it. Okay. I'll I'll take a look at the map. And okay. just look through everything and first of all just just tell prime we're not going into krimnos anymore we're probably heading to our original location we're continuing on with our quest that, that also sense. does mean adrastus how are you with the armaments that you have I can manage. I'm looking at the map and there's no other source of weaponry we can draw from. And unfortunately, that also means no artisan to help you with your arm. As I said, I'll manage. Then in that case, we'll have to continue on to this leg of the journey, uh, and understanding that we're not at full strength. We can't take as many risks as we would have in the past. Not that, honestly, we should have t taken those risks in the past either, but what's done is done. Is there anybody objecting to continuing on? No objections. I think time is really short now. That cloaked figure is causing too much havoc. 
but I really, really need a shiny, expensive diamond. Does anybody have one? I'm afraid I don't. No. I'm afraid I, I do not possess I such an one. item. Rats. Perhaps, perhaps there will be shops in or around the area of Tavi. Even if it's not on our map, we could. Anything could happen between here and there. I doubt any shops will be selling expensive diamonds. Well, no, but perhaps they could point us in the direction of somewhere we could acquire one ourselves. Or speaking Just of, keep your eyes out. Hyrax, were you? You were saying Hyrax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, speaking of expenses, how are we doing for funds? So out of character, uh, how are we doing? <laughs> um, uh, Adrastos kind of um, reaches behind his shield and pulls out uh, a pouch of gold. And he says, I've spent nothing on this journey. Everything I've bought, I've either found or was actually at a reduced cost from things that I had from my youth. So I'm. He counts out the money. I is drach is drachma the gold here or is it just gold? Just gold. You can okay. flavor this drachma. I have. Like uh, he pulls out a a golden coin, about one hundred and six pieces. He puts it back behind his shield. I was never paid for technically being the champion of. Akros, but that is because Akros collapsed, so. Yeah, we've been fairly self-sufficient on most of our journeys thus far. So, we still have coin, but we've not found use for it yet. I suppose that's a good thing. You haven't had too many expenses. If you do, I would be glad to help any of you out. I have a decent sum of coin collected from over my travels. Hopefully, if we get ourselves through this <clears throat> leg, understanding Tavi and being closer to understanding what's happening, we'll have a little bit more time to... Uh, Ask for a little bit more funds for our travels, too. But until then, I'm sure we'll manage. Well, you do still have your credit, basically, with any place within the realm of Melitus and those that honor the Council. Unfortunately, I'm afraid uh, we are crossing out of those lands. We are getting a little further out, yes. But since the incidents are closer in proximity, we don't have any time to waste. Hundreds. What route would you like to take? The main road travels through Krimnos. We could probably find a route around it. Not what distance yeah. do you wish to keep? Not through Krimnos, and most likely not on the main roads. Less eyes, the better. That I can agree with. The next major stop would be, it's a major stopping over point along the way, and that is Hunter's Crossing. Do we know if there's anything in Hunter's, out of character, do we know anything that, that's like at Hunter's Crossing, besides the fact that it's a landmark? I would say the only one of you who would probably know and have traveled this area would be Hyrax. Yeah, I was about to ask. Uh, and yeah. Hyrax, uh, I won't even make you roll for it. Uh, you would have heard of Hunter's Crossing. It used to be an outpost of Satessa on the far uh -huh. edge of the Nessian Wood. But uh, Satessa pulled back from it many years ago. Uh, so now it is no longer, it's, the fortress is still there, apparently but it is no longer specifically controlled by Satessa, but it is a popular stopover point for travelers, especially those taking the main trade routes from Satessa 
it would go that direction, then up around the bay. Is it known why Satessa withdrew from the outpost? There just wasn't a need. All right. Uh, it was far enough out. Uh, there was some, you know, enough contested land at the time that it just made no sense to keep it. Makes sense. They may send patrols every once in a while. Probably the little bears, uh, the young trainees would have been sent there once in a while. So you might have actually gone there once at okay, some point. But I will leave that up to you as a character choice. I could see that. It's not like it would change much considering how long ago it would have been. Yeah, probably a couple of years. Been. Like I said, probably when you were starting out. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's just a stopover point where travelers tend to stay. Does it have like a permanent? Does anyone live there in a, on a permanent basis? To no, maintain they do it? not. Nope. Okay. It's just the tower. Hunter's Crossing. It's been a long time since I've seen it. It's a popular stopover point for travelers. Possible we could see a traveling merchant there. Perfect. Sounds good. That's the next checkpoint then. Right. Uh, yeah, let's go. Well, With uh, that? Uh, I think I'll be driving the cart oh okay very good yeah and we'll just we'll just kind of follow I, I, we were on the other side of Krimnos, right and we have to kind of go around you're Krimnos on the north to, side to... you're gonna have to skirt around it sounds uh, good. which yeah you've got you know the woods and all to the uh east to the west is the bay so you i mean there's some land in between there but it's going to be rocky and slopey yeah 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 uh, i think understanding some of the places in the woods and knowing that we at least have an understanding of don't hurt anything in the woods and we'll be fine there i think we'll we'll travel through the i'll take the cart through through the woods okay to skirt around criminals very good All right it's going to be a couple of days journey so what i'm going to say is go ahead and do a long rest so that everyone's rested up. Okay. Oh, okay. And unless there's something particular you want to do on various days, I'm just going to go ahead and move us along so that we don't spend forever riding down a trail on a bumpy road. I I do. Okay. Um, so on one of the days, I'm going to take a watch by myself. Okay. And I'm I'm going to specifically request that I have it to myself. Um, and then I'm going to go away from wherever we're camped just a little bit, and I'm going to kind of take a cross-legged stance that I've seen Vara and Tully and some of the others take a couple times. And he's going to kind of like, address is going to bite his bottom lip, and he's going to close his eyes, shake his head, and say to himself, it's for your family. Porphoros, I don't know if you can hear me, or if you even care. You made a weapon eons ago. You even split the skull of a god. We are facing monsters here. I couldn't protect my family before. And now I am at diminished strength. Let me be your hammer on this plane. Restore my strength. Let me protect my family. And I will do what no Leonin in the history of Theros has done. And then he goes back to camp. All right. Excuse me while I make a couple of notes. (laughs) (laughs) 
this little aside brought to you by both a one shot and the direction of the party. <laughs> uh, let's uh, not meta gaming. Changing, change the direction of the party. We're, we're going the other way now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Tam, for for the information that you know that the others don't, nothing about what I'm doing will change. Mm-hmm. This is just the way I'm getting there. Got you. Okay. No problem. Makes sense. Cool. All right. All right. So uh, get, getting no response, he kind of scoffs, both thinking, okay, it couldn't have happened that quickly, and also kind of thinking, ah, he doesn't care. And it goes back to camp and goes back to sleep. All right. Very good. I mean, if you wanted to talk to the god of fire, you had Krimnos. It was still burning. I mean... <laughs> Come on. This is not. This is a decision. Going there with a be- going there with a bellows and you know. Over time. Yeah, absolutely. Stoke the fire a little bit. Yeah. Don't worry about all the rotting dead people or dying people. Yeah. Uh, or yeah, the alive people. Yeah. They ignore won't be them. there for long. Alive ignore it. Them. They're you just know? fuel. They're just fuel. Yeah. <laughs> um. Um. I, I do. Oh, sorry. Oh, ahead, sorry. Thomas. I do want to add add that. Uh. If. If I was to make any watches, I would still be spending time kind of practicing, I guess. Just just kind of pulling out a, a, a bit of of the, the the newfound kind of power that, that I have, kind awesome. of feeling feeling getting a feel for it, so that I would understand how I would be able to use it uh, like later on. Okay. Very good. Tikros, the stone in your pocket becomes very cold. I take it out. Take it out, and you receive the following. Why have you not replied? As the wilting plague spread outside Krimnos, are any of you infected? Where are you now? Okay. Okay, we have a message from Haryana. Is anybody infected? Hyrax, how are you feeling after going through Krimnos? I'm not infected. Okay. So we're not infected. Okay. Does anyone want to say anything back to Ariana before I do this message? I'm going to send you the message in text as well so you have it. Yay. Yay. But to be fair, yeah, but to be fair, it would probably for Tikaros, it would go, oh, oh, that's great, that's great. And then, what? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Why have we not replied? I thought I did reply. Well, I'll try again. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. No plague has spread. We're all fine. We're heading to Hunter's Crossing. A few days out? That'll do. All right. Thank you. I, I captured it with my very fast note taking known as recording the stream. So. <laughs> ah, what sorcery I'm getting lazier about note taking. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else as you are headed down the road? As you continue down the path and it begins to descend a bit because you are reaching that point where it's going to start going down into the marshlands. So you're moving out of the hill country down into the lower lands. Um, The road begins to dip. You come over a rise and up ahead about, I don't know, Two, three hundred meters, it looks like there's a figure kneeling down at the side of the road. What does this figure look like? Uh, you can see he's wearing some kind of armor that's uh, okay. shining red in the light. Do we recognize the armor? At this distance, maybe not. Okay. I Do will I take out Vara's telescope and look. Uh, there were two things. What, Hyrex? To do, can I recognize the armor at this distance? <laughs> oh. I'm gonna make you a roll for that one, eagle eyes. Oh, I'll roll I have 
I have Vara's telescope, so I'm going to use it to look. Okay. I want to see what he gets first. <laughs> okay. All right. So that is, I believe, if I remember my modifier, a 19. Yeah. Oh, I was expecting a 500 or something. All right. <laughs> uh, he rolled a 10. You recognize the armor first. Uh, you've met this person recently. Uh, Ptolemaeus and others seem to know him a little bit better. His name is Orcus. Yeah. Yeah. I've, and then I've, 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 I, helped, cover. I helped fight him at one point. Yeah. yeah. So I'll put the telescope down and very happily say, it's Orcos! Indeed. What are you going to do? Run his ass over, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Out of character. Weren't we supposed to tell him something? Wasn't I supposed to specifically not tell him something? Uh, there, yeah, is, exactly uh, that as well. But then there was also that... something. Man, uh, memories. I went to a different country for a bit, okay? Give me some, <laughs> give me some slag. I can't remember some of these things. Um, uh, you were given an eye that is in a box. That That's and, definitely not, and we're not asked something to we should get tell rid about. of it. I'm just trying to yeah. refresh because that was yeah. you know, a couple of sessions back. Uh, sure. And as you were leaving, the, the crone that took you to see the eye placed her hand on you, you specifically, no one else around, uh, and you got a vision of her as much younger and two almost triplets with different colored hair. Uh, saying that they were waiting to let Orcos know that they would be waiting. Actually, I don't think they said it by name. They said, let him know. Well, but you know called him, talking about. They also called him by a different name at some point, or someone did. That is did. true. Yep. That is true. Yes. No, the tree uh, called him by a different name. Yep. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I need it. Been, it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, okay. Um, well, regardless, I think I'm, I'll I'll stop the the wagon or the the cart just kind of short of where where he is, and just have everybody be able to greet him, like be in, be in the range where everybody can greet him. I'll I'll just look over and just. It's great to see you again, Orcus. Hmm. Yes. And his eyes are straight ahead. And about 300 meters away, you see a tower in the distance. It's covered in vine, you know, green vine covering up the sides of it. It looks a little worse for wear in places. But, you know, from this distance, it's structurally sound. Anything in particular that you're looking at? Yes. Good to see you haven't changed, friend. <laughs> I'm afraid uh, he puts a shield on his back. I'm afraid I can't really punch you for answers this time. No need. I'm watching to see whether or not the warrior is going to die. Which warrior? Up on that the, tower. The one who survived the massacre. Maybe we should go check that out. Hmm. He, he says that to Hyrax, not to Orcus. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps there's a reason he's just observing. Sorry. Sorry, no, no, go for it. No, I'm done. Did you know what happened to Krimnos? That it was burned. That apparently there was a plague released. I've heard about it. Was that before or after you? Are you asking if I was involved in a plague? No, I was not asking if you were involved in it. Of course not. More so if you happened upon our hooded man in this direction. 
hooded man. I've not seen any hooded men. We've wandered into the woods close to Krimnos, by the way. I was and he just kind of turns his head and gives you a bit of a sideways glance. I'll, not looking at him, I'll just be kind of like fiddling with something else, I guess. I'll just... I was uh, told um, by a couple of friends of yours that they were waiting. They were still waiting. He turns and just gives you this glare. What? That's what I was told. Nothing he, more, nothing less. He stands up, leaving his spears lying on the ground, which he's never just walked away from, and walks over to you. Who said this to you? So... Ptolemaeus would remember the name. <laughs> uh, I feel the player me feels a little bit uh, apologetic the, on the spot that I. The name she that. gave you was Telnir. Tel Telnir, right? Yes, that's the Something name. Like that. We were given the name Telnir. Telnir. What does this Telnir look like? Oh, I can help with that. And I'll put my palm up and just make a little illusory image of her face looking at us. I don't Except know anyone that old and hideous looking. I'll, I'll point out, I was like, Except when she touched me, she gave me a vision. It was her, a lot younger than that, and two brunettes behind her. Three of them. And he reaches up and grabs his armor and just kind of, like it's squeezing him, just kind of pulls on it a bit. <clears throat> I see. There was... The guardians of the, of the woods knew, knew you also, I think, by a different name as well, but... I've had many we met a, names. We met a tree that said that you planted him. <laughs> Alabaster. He's a good tree. I agree. So that was her only message. Did she say she's waiting? Or their way. Pretty sure they. I'm pretty sure the word was used. They. Hmm. Interesting. Have to see how their father feels about this. Although. Vision aside, there was only one of them. <laughs> it always sounded like she was talking to someone else, but... She was. <clears throat> Make us a campfire. You don't want to go into the tower right now anyway. The one standing guard on the roof would see you and presumably call the others out and kill you on the spot. Yes, that would not be good. Has some hostile uh, force taken over Hunter's Crossing? Absolutely. Uh, currently, um, members of an army. Erebus Dawn, I believe, is the name. I don't know. Yes, they, they killed three soldiers, a few civilian merchants, and their horses, which seems a bit harsh. But one of the warriors survived, managed to crawl into the building and it places me in a bit of a quandary. What kind of quandary? I, I will ask as I'm setting up the campfire. 
Um, I only aid the fallen who are abandoned on the battlefield. Those who raised arms and are left to die. I'm not sure whether his mortal wound will be the end of him or if they will render aid. I'm waiting to see whether or not he is prepared for death. Perhaps then. think it possible for one of us to ascertain that. Are you saying you wish to go into the building? We're going to have to move forward regardless. It would be best for us to understand whether or not we'll have to be have to be doing this with or without you. I have one purpose. I am only concerned about those abandoned on the field of battle. Those inside the building who did not lift a finger to defend themselves are not my concern. That is fair enough. If I may ask. I apologize, Ptolemaeus, but this is pressing to me. How many men have taken Hunter's Crossing? Men? At least four. Why did you specify? I answered what you asked. What else is with them? Well, I saw at least the tracks of two Minotaur. Which makes sense, being an army of Crassus, that they would be the leaders. Yes. They also appear to have a hound of hell in their presence. Four men, two minotaurs, and a hound of hell. I cannot ask this party to endanger themselves by trying to take back the crossing, but... As I said, this is a popular stopover. More people are likely to die if we leave it in the possession of these hostile forces. If Crassus is involved, you have little to ask of me. I will happily take it back from anything he has wrought. But if it is just the two of us, I understand. As do I. If it is just the two of you, then I definitely wouldn't want you to be alone in this endeavor. I would join you as well. Is that all right hey, with you, Tikaros? I have to say it. Time is limited, and there's a bigger problem at hand. I'm just going to put it on the table. This is another distraction. But if I'm outvoted... My tribe comes first. I'll difficult. help you. I'll definitely help you. But I wouldn't stray away from telling you that this is a dumb decision. Others' safeties aside, Personal vendettas aside, we have men, we have one man at least posing as gods, wreaking havoc as he goes. There are things that are pressing, whichever outweighs the other. It is up to you. I have no stakes in this. I am not a leader. You all know that. I'm simply a weapon to be directed. I leave it to you where you direct my fury. Hyrax, 
You feel strongly about this. I feel strongly, but I understand the importance of our mission. And if I am outvoted, ultimately, I will go along with the group. I the only, time? I only asked for your consideration. For me, I would say that the logic comes from looking at where Hunter's Crossing is, where we are going, what has happened to the north of these paths, and where merchants would potentially go. If Krimnos is burning, that's already one less path that requires Hunter's Crossing in, in, in the first place. We seem to be on the heels of Crassus' army, going through the places that they have raised, or that they have taken control of. It would seem logical that they're either going east or south, where we are going. We could root out the problem at its heart if we really needed to. It would, of course, mean that we're taking on incredible odds, but it would be better than whittling away our strength like this. I defer to your wisdom. I'll turn to Orcos and just... You don't necessarily know of that warrior in, in those buildings, in that building there, will choose to defend himself. The warrior has already tried to defend himself. That is how he became wounded. But the, the question now is whether or not he's going to die. <sighs> the others being merchants from Satessa, I doubt very seriously that they're going to lift a finger. Even when it comes to point of death, they watched their fellow people die did nothing. They ran and hid. Caring more about the treasures and the satchel of messages than the people they were with. That's why I so often try to intervene in this, these situations, knowing that I can do something and that most other people will not. I feel a sense of responsibility. But I understand that we have priorities. I share that sense with you, brother. The problem is... If, if I may, Ptolemaeus. Hyrax, I will return wisdom you gave to me to you. There is no need to waste or throw away our lives, time, or limbs in fruitless endeavors. If we can get ahead of this plague, we can prevent this from happening to anyone else. If we continue to follow it, it will just be like following a rolling flame. We must stop the flame before it can spread. Sometimes we must sacrifice roots to save the tree. I will fight with you if you wish, but... As I said, I won't ask that of you. Orcos. Very well leans back next to the fire. Are you familiar with the tale of Polyphontes? No. He takes his helmet off, sets it beside him. 
Polyphontes was a great warrior. His name literally means the slayer of many. He came into service under the banner of Iroas in the name of Akros. Iroas believes, much like Mogus, in the honor of war, but he sees victory as the goal, not merciless killing. Winning is, is what Iroas goes for. There was a contested land, not, not far from here, just a bit north of Akros, in fact, on the edge of the wood, just before it begins to become the Nessian wood, and enter into what is known as Nylea's territory. But it was also at one time argued to be that of the Tessan property. Both Ephara and Karametra laid claims to the land. But Iroas, Iroas felt that that land properly belonged to Akros. So he sent Polyphontes south. Polyphontes had previously served Heliod and Mogus. Karametra at one point. Perforos for a short bit. But he found a new light working under the banner of Iroas. He was a warrior of all names. He he fought. He believed in victory. Victory at all costs. But not brutal death for no purpose. No, his his slaying always, always had reason. He did not kill mercilessly. In fact, once a battle was won. He was willing to step away, leaving the dead on the battlefield amongst those wounded, injured, and barely clinging to life. This was an affront to Karametra, Afara especially. Nylea, not so much. As bodies rot, they replenish the soil. Death is the natural way. Erebos is fr friend to Nylea. In so much as death is the rebirth. It allows her forests to grow. It allows the wilds to live. But when they came to this one place, when they came to this one town, on the north end of the bay. Polyphontes was stopped at the gate by Nylea, who stated, This is my land. These are my places. You are not allowed to come here. You cannot win, and you must leave. Polyphontes was a very proud man. Victory was his goal. This remained in honor with Iroas. So he set fire to the woods. And he raised the village. The townspeople, running in fear, hid among the woods. But as they burned slowly away, their hiding places vanished. Polyphontes, in an act of pride and victory, began to slay the villagers. Maybe a little bit of his time with Mogus came back into his heart. Nylea was overwrought. She launched an arrow at Polyphontes. He deflected it, however, with his war staff and it severed the heads of two lovers who were hiding in the woods. Nylea cursed Iroas, 
<laughs> Polyphontes. And the village itself, in a wail so loud that it roused even Erebus' attention. The gods came and surrounded Polyphontes in this small village. Nothing would quell and bring peace to Nylea, who cried and screamed in great storms. The earth rattled. Things were not well as famine would begin to spread as things began to die because the nymphs would not work when Nylea cries. So the gods created a temple for the lost lovers. And to enforce a truce between Iroas and Nylea, stated that that village would no longer belong to either Akros nor Satessa, but as an unblemished wood for Nylea, for so long as that temple stands, and the two lovers remain at peace on its altar. Well, hell. At least they're in peace somewhere. Not on yes. the altar anymore. What do you mean? I'll just kind of look at the, the lovers <laughs> have been returned to Athreos. As have the souls of the Eidolon sent to protect them. Hmm. Interesting. You wouldn't think... I'll look at the party, and when I say this, I'll just... You wouldn't think that that's where... Nelia crying, the nymphs not doing their jobs, this is where all the rot came from. Possibly a start. Not much that we can do now that that's done. Always a little bit of a unfortunate feeling when you knew that when you know find out that it it was to stop a war. The question is whether the war will start again. That is true. But, unfortunately, knowing the gods. The question is, why would anyone want to disrupt a temple to two lovers in the middle of nowhere? It's the lovers were in pain. And there are those of us who cannot abide to see the dead treated thus. A series of rather unfortunate happenings, I would say. Some child thought the, the rings on the altar playthings and stole them off the altar. Chased by a large minotaur spirit, our members of our party thought that we should be ones to help. Except we could only find one, one ring, not, not the other, for the longest time. We sought to, to return one when we needed both. And we, when we came to the altar and found the lovers beheaded, but the heads themselves not knowing that they were dead,
It was a bit too much. Almost ridicule for the dead in that sense. There was a warrior who was in love with three maidens. These maidens were the daughters of the gods. Morta, Nona, and Decima. The love was returned by the three. And they shared equally in all things. One day in celebration of this love, the warrior, being renowned and mighty, he retrieved a great gift, the eye of a wondrous beast. He took this eye and gave the gift to the three, because they shared all equally, including him and his love. He assumed it would be a gift worthy for all. But Shortly, they grew jealous of the gift, and they grew jealous of the warrior's attention, and they became devious and deceitful to one another. One evening, as she often would, the sister Decima set aside her skin and flesh to bathe in the living waters of the temple. While she bathed, she relaxed in the moonlight and slept. As she slept, her sisters stole her flesh and skin and hid it away from her. When she arose from the waters, she found no body to wrap herself in became bitterly cold. At the next waning moon, Morda, who stood in judgment of those who border on reaching the potential of their birth for passage into Elysia, she would often lay her heart aside during this time to allow reason to rule in a decision of such magnitude. When she returned from giving her judgments, she could not find her heart, for it had been stolen away and placed into a dark hole deep, between, yeah, deep beneath a tree in the darkened woods. She confronted her sisters, who argued loudly and debated, but having no heart. Morta began to make the decision that all who died should never seek Alicia, but should suffer in torment. Well, this of course drew the attention of Krufex, god of fate. He intervened in the fight and on hearing the argument and the tales from all sides, and facing their unwillingness to share the, dis the disclose of where they had hidden the flesh, the skin, and the heart, and knowing that it was all based on jealousy, inflicted by the cruel torment of love, he took their love, and buried it in the heart of a tree deep in the wood, so that they could never find it again. When the warrior returned and went to enter the wood, Rufix stopped him, denied him entry into the forest until he would commit himself wholly to the sisters. He would make a choice. Well, this the warrior could not do. But, knowing the sisters well, he was able to discern 
the location of the heart, the immovable heart, Morta. And from this he fashioned the great spear, Akanitos. He found the flesh of Decima, and he created the armor, Agilasini, by stretching her skin until it made a shell that surrounded his body and covered his heart. Love and theft can only lead to someone gaining strength and others gaining sorrow. Why would you involve yourself in such simple matters of love? We have felt the pain of loss. We have felt each of us in our own way. The loss or absence of love, the hardening of the heart. We have forged our own armor from the sorrows of our past and our weapons. Just the same. And if we can prevent it for others, that's what we do. It's just who we are. That's why these people are my clan. And he, he pointedly looks at Hyrax because Hyrax hasn't been given one of the <laughs> things that he says, all of them. So you gain strength through this loss of love and death. And then he holds up his uh, missing right arm. We've lost things too. Love has a been without cost. Cost me an arm. Hmm. Well, it appears that the warrior is mortally wounded, and they're not going to be able to save him. Did he fight well? Of course. Then it is a good death. If he gets to die honorably. For now, he sits in the cellar of a tower with a merchant woman crying over him like some kind of lost beast, a wounded animal. He is a warrior. He deserves to die with a weapon in his hand. He puts his helmet on and stands up. And I'm going to go give him one. Drassos gives him a warrior salute with his left hand. Reach over, picks up his swords, looks back at Hyrax. Are you all talk or are you going? Certainly can't be accused of being all talk. Takes his shield in one hand and a javelin in the other. <clears throat> he will turn. Well, if... Oh, go ahead, Ptolemyus. Well, if one goes, I suppose we could spare a little time. Certainly not going by yourself. Distractions it is. <clears throat> um, as, as he's walking, Adrasus is going to come up and just kind of put his left hand on Hyrax's shoulder and say, Welcome to the Dawnbringer clan, brother. And I'll squeeze his little arm. <laughs> Orcos is going to look over and go, Dawnbringer. Sounds better than Sunclaw. I have to agree, my friend, and he laughs. 
seems I've been adopted again. So you're about 300 meters from this tower. And we're going to say it's evening still because you were doing your evening fire. I believe the lookout is still on the roof. Depends on if you want them to know you're coming. If we move any further, I think that he will obviously tell we are here. Well, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm extremely quiet and stealthy, Orthos. Yes, amazingly. How high up is the how high up is the the uh, the scout? The tower itself is four stories tall. Okay. And with a natural climbing speed, could I try and scale the tower and take out this scout quietly? Uh, once yeah. you you are three hundred meters away from the tower, Rangers. But I'm going to say anything's worth a try. I would like to cast. Uh, pass without trace. All right. I would like to be there with him so that I could time or get within, it's four stories, I can get within a, a distance of 120 meters and time it so that when he climbs up there and tries to take him out, I will add on to it with an Eldritch Blast if I could. So I'm just going to sink down into the grass. <laughs> <laughs> I will come with you. Well, I mean, all of us could go. Pass without a trace would cover the entire mm. group. All right. So I'm going to go to. You. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to move ahead. Uh, I okay. my aim though is to try and take out the scout first, so everyone can move in without being yep. seen. Right. Yep. I will well, be as like, stealthy as I can. Let's. Orcos is going to propose because of the terrain and the way it's laid out. Let's move in, get about 100 meters out, and then Hyrax and whomever can go ahead. Sounds and the good. rest of us will Agreed. wait. Yep. In the interest of stealth, because I'm imagining they have relatively good sight. Uh, Adrasus looks around, finds a, a decent spot on the ground, takes off his breastplate and puts it down. And he, so he's just in his robes. He's like, Oof, okay, now I won't make as much noise. Since you have us in pass without a trace, Hyrax, uh, why don't you roll stealth for the group with advantage? Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank God for advantage, because one of those is a natural one and one of those is a natural 17, which <laughs> would be with a 15, uh, a plus 15 modifier would be 32. 32. Yep. Yeah, Excellent. pass without a trace. Uh, you are able to move in very close. You get about 100 meters out from it. And everybody's, there's kind of a little crop, outcropping there that everybody's able to duck down behind. And tell me how you want to approach the tower. It is all right. yours. Ducking down, he is going to advance, um, trying to keep out of trying to angle himself out of sight of anyone else just crossing who might be observing. right before he goes sorry mm -hmm. just to cut in right before he goes i'll i'll pat you on the back and just give me a signal i'll follow up on you you've got this and that will be a uh, bardic inspiration for you getting up there nice and well, i have a natural climbing speed of Speed of 35 feet. So mm -hmm. I'm going to begin attempting to scale the tower. All right. And you are still under your pass without a trace. So I think it's, uh, Indeed. you're definitely going to be able to get there. I don't think the climbing is the issue. I think the stealth, being able to stay quiet the whole time that you do it, is going to be the issue. So if you would, go ahead and let's roll a stealth check. All right. Another stealth check. Come on. I probably shouldn't be rolling the one that rolled the nat one before, but I'm, I'm a, got my fingers crossed for something better. All right. That is 
Uh, nine plus 15 is 24. You are able to get within five meters of the edge. And I'm going to put the map up. Multiple floors are available for the map here, but I'm only going to reveal the actual top map if I can get our friend Roll20. I, I I hit reveal and it 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 it, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 in shock. So, at the very top of this map is the the top of the building. So if you scroll up to the very top, you'll see, and there is a soldier standing at the top of it. All right. Um... As I deal with my shock at roll twenty. So you are hanging just down the edge. If you can see the map, hopefully you can see it okay. Yeah, which edge? Am I at the southern, northern? I'm going to say western? which. Where do you want to be? If you approached it from the I direction of Primno, she would be here. That's what I assumed was that I would be at the southern edge. That just puts me right below him. Yeah. Um, you know, I could always do the uh, splinter cell maneuver and just grab him and pull him over the edge, but uh, that he would definitely scream, and the cat would be <laughs> out of the bag. Um, hmm. All right. If he hasn't noticed me. Mm -hmm. mm. And he is standing a little bit back. I'm going to say he's pacing back and forth. But right now, he's going to be okay. right where you see him. I'm a. Uh, see, the thing is, if I don't want him to raise the alarm, I would have to kill him pretty much while he's surprised. Um, and rangers don't get sneak attack, but. I'm going to try for it. Uh, while he's pacing back and forth patrolling, Hyrax is hanging over the ledge, waiting for his opportunity. He sees him walk past, pulls up quietly behind him, keeping pace with him. And then, um, let's see, what weapons do I have? Do I have anything that does more than the javelin does? If I'm going to go, go in close. So he is carrying a spear, he has a shield, and he is wearing a uh, metal breastplate. He's pretty much outfitted exactly like I am, because that's all the stuff that I've got, except mine is a javelin. Mm -hmm. um, should probably invest in a sword for times like these. Um, yep, that's what I've got. Uh, okay. I am going to try to come up behind, put my hand over his mouth, and see if I can just plunge a plunge my javelin into his back. Well, okay. not into his back, but somewhere not protected by the breastplate. Okay. Could I also okay. use my, my readied action as well? Like, I was kind of readying the, the Eldritch mm -hmm. Blast or something like that. On the but you were on the ground. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to be far enough out. You can kind of get an angle to it. But I'm sh I I'm going to yeah. say you can visually see him, because I'll assume Hyrax will get him close enough to one of the crenulations, knowing your plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hyrax, let's have an attack roll. All right. Now. And let's. Uh, you know what? What we should do, and I'm going to give you the surprise attack. So don't worry about that. You're going to get your attack. Let's do initiative. I know. Uh, crazy, crazy idea. Insane idea. <laughs> I'll put myself here as well for now, just just so that we know that I'm here. Did not delete. Okay. I'll be on the bottom floor. All right. Full well, initiative. What is it with Bloomstalkers and initiative? Do we does it is it advantage? What is it? Or do they add something to it? I thought I think it was you add your wisdom modifier. Remember, you can sure. add my wisdom modifier to initiative. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. 
that is a Oh, Tam, I'm going to have to need like you to, to add my initiative for me, or add, add the turn in so I can add, add my... Okay. Follow miss. Uh, I actually rolled a natural 10 on the die, so it's a 15. Okay. Mine is a 14. Okay. Roll 20, as usual, being its very cooperative self. It even deleted my entry that I had for Orcos and Ptolemaeus. Great. Thank you so very much. What was yours, Ptolemaeus? I'm sorry. 14. 14. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Do we have everyone? Yep. Since it fried it, I wanted to make sure. <laughs> Hyrax, you would have been at the top of the initiative order anyway, so that works out very well for your surprise attack. So. And I was next, so perfect. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. Uh, all right. Now, how are we handle? How do we handle surprise? Um, have we talked about I'm that? Going, as I'm far going as to, I, you, as far as I know, in five E, surprise but, is uh -huh. basically a condition where you just yeah, can't right. act on the I'm first going, turn. Since you were able to stealth up into this position, you're coming up behind him. I'm going to give you advantage on this. I may not do it every time, but nice. this just seems like a really fair time for you to get advantage on this attack. I very much appreciate that. You have that D8 as well? With your oh, D8 for uh, Bardic Inspiration? Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I just rolled with advantage. I will probably not need it at okay. the moment. That is good. Um, so I might save it, if that's okay. No, I mean, that's, that's how I gave it to you. It's up to you. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that is a 21 to hit. Nice. That is a hit. That is a hit. Um, could I have? No, I won't push my luck. I was going to ask <laughs> if I could have cast Hunter's Mark on him first, but uh, that was a verbal component so that would have set him off. Yeah, that would have kind of ruined the whole surprise. I'll thing. just go with this. This will be fine. Oh, but I will. I, I need to remember I do have both extra attack and Bloom Stalkers on their first round Dread Ambusher take the attack action extra 1d8 oh you can make one additional additional weapon attack is okay so i can actually attack three times Fuckers are red and are they will they will they all get advantage is my question just the first one just the first one just first, the first one gets one. advantage yeah all right good thing i have the body inspiration then uh, yeah you really want to be a nightmare is, man that is a uh, rogue eight piercing <laughs> damage on okay. the first attack, and then he draws back, stabs again. Um, this is going to be my extra attack. And this is this is getting to be kind of like one of those uh those prison movie like <laughs> things where he's like shanking him in the back a couple times, like <laughs> <my God>. no <laughs> shit, no shit. That is a natural twenty. Oh, awesome! Oh my god! Yeah, so that's man, this what? man's taking a nap. <laughs> so that's what max damage plus a roll. Yep. Yes. Okay. So with so that is. Uh, that is going to be 15. That was your to hit 15, 15 piercing damage on the extra attack. Oh, and then well, I get to make one, and then I get to make one more attack. So um, that was 15 total. That was the max damage plus your roll was 15. Okay. That's what I wanted to hear. I was getting, yes. Okay, cool. Um, and then I am going to then roll my additional attack for being a gloom stalker. Which gets another D eight as well. Uh, okay. I, I I I I don't I don't know what. Okay, it's a nat twenty. I don't I I don't use it now. Use it now because there's more to come. It is. It is legitimately. Yeah, it is a natural twenty. Um, do I roll both of those dice again? Or or it's, no, yeah, I, I already rolled both the dice with the attack roll. All right, yeah. let me just. It's max just, damage like, plus your die roll. So. I wish I had a camera on this thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, one of them already rolled max damage, so and that's the D eight. Uh, okay. So that is um, nine plus 
five plus eight plus eight. Hold on. Uh, yeah, sorry. So 30? Four, that... Yeah, yes, yeah. that is okay. that is another 30 piercing damage on the third attack there. So that's 30 plus 15 plus, what was the original one? It doesn't matter because... So as with you, three stabs of as the you stab with him, javelin. trying to get around the armor, you get him in the shoulder, and the last one, you get him right under the base of the neck. And as you do, you hear a gurgle come out of his mouth. His sword and shield clatter to the ground, and he collapses oh no. to the floor. With his, with, his, with his sword and shield clattering, or his spear and shield, I suppose, it's like clattering clink. to the ground, he sets him down carefully, crouches down, and uh, Hyrax is going to quickly and quietly cast Disguise Self. <laughs> okay. Uh, touching his his totem hanging around his neck again as he then takes the shape or the the general appearance of this scout and then assumes his his exact same patrolling position. All right. Um. Now I have to find some way to give a little signal. And Ptolemaeus, I'm going to assume your hold action. You're not just going to fire it off for no good reason. You're oh, going to see not. what happens and just recognize what's going on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, oh no, there's a there's a there's a guy that suddenly popped up again. I'm going to throw it. I'm just oh. <laughs> damn it. I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Ptolemaeus, <laughs> you are up. Um. So, I. If if you saw, I, I don't think I've ever chucked an Eldritch Blast yet. And the 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 flavor I f I was thinking of was I, oh my god, this sounds really dumb now that I said now that I'm thinking about it, but that's okay. What well, um, do you want? Do you want to hold it until you actually fire it, or? Yeah, I'll, I'll hold it when I and when I actually fire it because I'll okay. I'll just kind of look look up and then see that that's no longer needed and I. I guess I'll use this time to uh, go back to where my party is. Okay. To the rest of them, to, to make sure that uh, we know that the scout's gone. Okay, they're a pretty good bit away. They stopped uh, a few meters away. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just meters out. start my way there. Uh, actually, if you dash, not. you could probably just about make it without. So. Right? Yeah. So while Hyrex is at the top there, seeing that the uh, the lookout is no longer there, um, Orcos is just going to kind of look up, see Ptolemaeus heading back and go, hmm. Stand up and go, look at the others and shall we? Might as well get them to move. And so if you will look down towards the bottom of the map, you will see a view of the ground floor. And Orcos yes, is guess there. Standing. Where Orcos is. Yep. So, yep. So you can see whatever's outside of it. You can smell the fire of the burning cart and the dead horses. And... While you were standing out there, a live horse comes trotting past, kind of like it was going back towards the fire, and it smells the fire and the death and heads back the other way. So it's obviously one of their horses that is loose. Um, doesn't look any worse for wear, however. And with that, uh, Ptolemaeus, you might want to join us on the ground floor there with your token. I'm going to see if anybody inside happened to hear any of that ruckus. You wait around for a moment. And you don't hear anything to let you show you that there's been any kind of alert or anything raised. So, Adrestos, how would you like to proceed? Hmm. I don't know. Um, 
I'll look to Ptolemaeus. What do you think our next move is? Do we go into the tower? Should we clear it? Chance to now. Very well, then I suppose we'll go into the tower. So I'll try and find a door and enter the tower. I just... He did so well with stealth, and I've ruined stealth before. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Go for it. It's right. it's like it's at that point where the stealth has done its job. If if it goes longer, great. If it doesn't, it's fine already. You okay, know, I'm like... gonna try and enter the bottom floor of the tower. Okay, there are two ways in. So there's a door back here to the left, and there's a door, the large door to the front on the right. I'll go to the small door. Okay. And based on your movement, what are you, 30? 30, 35. I'm 35. Okay. So that so I can get, you get there with a the dash. Door. Okay. So that will be your action. And yep. Icarus. I will. I will take off with my movement after Adrastos, okay. but I will use my action to cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. Clasp my necklace and do that as I start running after him. All right. So go ahead and do your your movement, your regular movement distance, and you've got Mage Armor up? Yep. Yep, I'll get to there. That's me. Orcos is going to watch and look at Ptolemaeus and go, I guess we're taking the back door. And he is going to follow along behind Icarus. Irax, you are on the top of the building. What would you like to do? I am. I'm at the top of the building pretending to be that one guy. Okay. Uh, for the moment, until I see my friends go in. I'm going to keep an eye out. Um... I none of the, the enemies, none of the enemies have noticed them yet, right? Also, do I do I get a from this high position, do I get a good idea of like where enemies are? I think that from up there you could look around the perimeter without any problem and see anything. So why don't you give me I know you've got passive perception, but give me a perception check. Sure. Absolutely I will. Uh that is a, do I still have do I still have bard inspiration? Is that gone? Because <laughs> I, I rolled a natural four, so that's would you normally be still a thirteen. Have it. It's a minute, so yeah, you should still have it. Okay, definitely. Let me roll it. That is a five on the inspiration die. It's a D eight. Oh, ten minutes. Never mind. It's ten, yeah. It's it's only yeah. It's okay with ten minutes. Ever, I should definitely yeah. have. definitely got it. Yeah. All right. So uh, plus five. So that's eighteen. Okay. Uh, as you kind of maybe make a quick circuit around. Uh, you notice there is a white horse that keeps wandering back and forth. You see the rest of the party hanging around the southern side and as Adrastos moves around to the side where the uh, what appears to be the rear exit because it's a smaller door is. Off the front, you can see several bodies uh, of people and animals. Uh, there's a couple of overturned carts. One of them is in flames. Uh, the other one has some kind of baggage that appears to have spilled out of the cart. It's soaked in blood, so whatever it is, probably not going to be good food to be using anymore. And there are a couple of cows. Apparently, they're grazing off a little ways away from the fire. Once again... Wait a minute, those aren't cows, those are minotaurs. Sorry, continue. No, they're they're actually cows. They they have, uh, they have uh, cowish bodies, so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> They're mimic cows when you get close. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Mimic tars? Yeah. <laughs> mimic tars. Oh, God. I'm going to create a new character, a new creature. Uh, uh, but you do not see any soldiers, per se, at least none that are alive and moving. Mm, but you definitely recognize okay. the outfits, the brands, the markings of Satessan soldiers. The soldier you are imitating, his uh, armor actually is Akroin, but his shield has been painted over and carries the symbol of Erebus Dawn over what used to be the Akroin symbol. 
Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so I don't see any enemies out in the open. No. Okay. Um, I should probably find some way to communicate that to my friends. Uh, honestly, with that being assessed, I might just drop my disguise and head back down. Or no reason to drop my disguise. I can keep it up for now in case it comes in handy. But I'll I'll just head down the tower the normal way. I'll head inside and take the stairs if I need to. Oh, you're um, gonna take the spiral staircase? Is that gonna take a long time? No, I'm just saying that's what's on the side. That's the way in. So Yeah, I figured. Okay. Uh yeah, I would probably just head down like a normal person and go okay. find my friends and let them know what's going on. Okay. Uh it's obviously gonna spiral down to the next floor, so it's gonna take your movement to get to that floor. So we'll come back sure, to I'll do that. return. All right. Elimaeus. I am following my party because uh, they've all went for the back door and uh, insert uh, joke that player me would have <laughs> put in, but Elimaeus would never I, say I, I have no idea what point. I didn't think of anything, so I have no idea what you're talking no, about. No, no. Yeah, yeah. But I, is, I have to say, Elimaeus, uh, are you dashing? I mean, uh, I will not be. He's plenty handsome. I think he's rather dashing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I was still, I was still too busy with looking at the. Hmm, uh, it's uh, looking like a little tight fit there. Uh, too the, busy on the with back, butt jokes. With the back door. <laughs> uh, okay, so I will just, I guess, take that route and. Okay. Well, you can Walk move around. through our area if you're faster than us without having to, you know, jig around us. So. All right. I mean, I think I think it was kind of the same here. All right. Undo the, yes, that's it. Well, that makes it easy. Nobody inside knows what's going on at this point. So, Adrastos. Okay. There shield is a door. back on. Shield back on my stick arm. Okay. Javelin in hand. I'm going to just kind of tow the door open if I can. If not, okay. It is not smash. locked. It is not locked, so you can definitely Great. open it. Actually, let's see uh, how out of use this door is. I'm going to totally oil the hinges first. Does anyone have any WD-40? <laughs> uh, as you push on it, it does make a loud creaking noise. This is not a door that is used regularly. Well, as soon as it starts making noise, I'm going to stop trying to do it slowly. Okay, and just... <laughs> yeah, so it's going to go from... <laughs> to... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll just head inside. All right. And uh, to here. Awesome. Okay. All right. Are you opening the door or stopping at that point? Uh, I'm going to wait for my party. Okay. Probably a good choice. Since I have one arm. <laughs> Icarus. Okay. I'm going to move. I can get to here with one move and peer through the door and see if Adrastos is okay in there. Well, you can see him standing yeah. near the door. Excellent. And then I'll double move. I'll just move into the room after him. Okay. Excellent. And wait. Yeah. I'll present a nice shield for you to hide behind. Yeah. Orcos is going to do the same thing and move into the room. And using his dash, he's going to actually move in and take up a position behind Adrastos with one spear raised and the other like this across his front. Yes. Yes, Dudo. Hi, <laughs> Rock Step. You have made your way. Down the staircase to the next floor down. So let's. Okay, roll 20. You did so good. The first, <laughs> the first time, but no, now it wants to be obstinate. Um, we're going to say that this place is decently lit. Lit. So I'm just going to open up your viewpoint in both directions. I mean, even if it here. weren't, I have dark right. vision. Yeah. 
that just makes it easier on me because you know you get to be lazy okay. you make your way uh to this floor and step off i assume on the floor because the staircase uh -huh. continues downward i do yes okay i'll hmm. the question is whether i want to investigate or just keep going down to meet my friends i am a scout i probably should investigate it's entirely up to you i'm gonna peek through this door here is it is it unlocked it is unlocked i'm gonna, gonna take a little peek All right empty room uh, it is. There's uh, some blood stains by this this uh, stool over here in the corner, which it's not letting me ping. I apologize. There we go. And there are some dishes and some trash, but nothing that seems to be new. Uh, there's also a small dagger laying on the uh, table to your left, just laying there. Hmm. Um, okay, well, I'm not interested in in a dagger, am I? Maybe I am. Uh, maybe I should go check it out. Um, it's laying there. It's not embedded in anyone or anything. No, it's just laying on the table like somebody left it there. Oh, fine. I'm curious. I want to go check it out. Okay. So Is there anything you... notable about it? Um, it bears a Cetessian symbol on it uh, for one of the Nexus. And it is the Summer Nexus. So this would be the kind of uh, weapon or tool that would be issued to one of the little bears. That's part of oh. the training. Oh no. It's got Tito blade. The little bears are the little training soldiers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He will take that and carefully put it away, uh, keeping it on his person. Um, I don't. I don't know how much movement I have left. Let's see. It was. I think with. Yeah, that's. 35 is exactly my movement speed. Yeah. That's, and then your searching would be a bit of an action. So I think that's going to wrap it. For that's you probably it. Yeah, that's, that's probably a wrap for me. All right. I'm going to scroll back down here. Probably giving a whiplash to the people on the stream as I scroll back and forth between the maps. <laughs> uh, Ptolemaeus. I'm just going to do one of these. And that's, 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 that's my turn. <laughs> All That's right. six squares. I just... <laughs> All right. Now that door made a bit of a squeaky noise when you opened it. So let's see if it. Right. <laughs> but apparently, if anybody's around, they didn't hear it. Perfect. So... Yeah, I don't think I get to do anything else other than that. So. All right. Adrastos. Well, Adrastos couldn't possibly know that no one heard that, and he kind of feels like everyone heard it. So he's not being stealthy anymore. So he's just going to push the door open with his shield. All right. So you're just going to push it open, not enter the room, correct? Not until I see who, what, who or what is in there, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to give you a view of the room. Let's make it the easy thing here. So you push the door open. It does not open as noisily. Obviously, it's been used a bit more than this this back door. Um, the first thing that happens is the young woman who is carrying a tray of food, who has apparently been cooking and is carrying it to the nearest table, sees you and just stops and then slowly looks to her left, where you see three hoplites seated at the tables, as you can see positioned on there. They don't appear to have noticed you yet. Um, can I gauge if this woman looks like these hoplites are friendly to her or if like they've kept her captive? 
She looks terrified. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can share that. Let's see if we can share that love. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Like to come in and scare women, do you? I think I'm <laughs> scarier than you. Um, I'm going to... Okay, I am going to walk in. Well, I want I'm not to going clarify. to walk in. I want to clarify, there's an error in my notes. It's two hoplites and one minotaur, but they still don't notice you. But I want you to be clear who's there. Even step into the better <laughs> so i'm going to um burst through the door jump up on this table and use my daunting roar <laughs> cool. all right uh so that is everybody within is it everyone i choose or everyone oh, everyone everyone oh, no. oh it is of my choice so everyone except <gasps> the woman Okay. Uh needs to make a wisdom saving throw. What what's the distance on that? Ten feet. I, I assume you wouldn't include your friends. Ten foot well, radius. But... Yeah. So ten foot ten. radius. And it's a wisdom? Wisdom. Right. And the DC is thirteen. It's not very high, but it is okay. what it is. Well, very simply, um, the two hoplites who are sitting at the table that you jump on <laughs> actually kind of move backwards and fall off their seats in surprise. The minotaur at the other table, however, grabs his axe and stands up. Excellent! A worthy challenge! I will now make my attacks. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. So I can't use any of my superiority movements because I use my bonus action, but that's okay because now two guys are scared of me. Um, so I'm going to attempt to javelin the Minotaur with great prejudice. Ah, I just got brand new dice from Kickstarter. So I'm going to see how they do. I'm opening them right here on stream. This is the first official roll. Show us, show us. I don't know if you can see it, but they're like blue and coppery. Ooh, yeah, like nice. Lot. All right. So first attack. Oh, they love me. First roll is an 18, which is a 25. Uh, which one are you attacking? I'll, I'll go minotaur. ahead and mark. Let me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to mark the hoplites because then we can tell them apart. So. Cool. So you have attacked the Minotaur, and that I is have. a hit. I would hope so. <laughs> uh, nine damage. Right. And then for my second trick. Okay. This dice is hot, Tam. 24. <laughs> wow. Okay. Max damage, 12. 12 piercing damage. All right. This so much for this being a uh, you know, hard uh, encounter. Oh, you dice are going in a place of honor. You are good boys and girls. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just piston thrust this minotaur in the chest a couple times. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, but that is all I can do. All right. Very good. Tikaros. Adrastos goes flying into the room, jumps on the table, roars and begins stabbing the minotaur. <laughs> Yes, and addressed us. Uh, can I push past Orcos and Tolly, given how squishy this looks? Absolutely. I just push past them and peer through the doorway, and I'm going to look at the woman, and in her head, I'm going to say, come this way if you want to live. <laughs> come this way to live. <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's exactly. <laughs> oh. <in> my head. <laughs> and <take it out. laughs> I got, yes. I, I got to be honest. At one point, I wanted to have Orcos pull up in a wagon be beside you guys and look at you and go, don't say anything. Just get in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I loved Let's that. do all the tropes. You know? <laughs> get anyway. in, winners. We're going slaying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Sorry. Hopefully, Sorry that's a, hopefully that's a quick enough little 
like just a little aside to her and then I want to fling a fire bolt at this hoplite with the okay. red. Excellent. A fling a fire bolt. Fire bolt. Oh, that's a bad hit. Is only nine. That is a definite miss. Boo. That's all I can do for this minute. So I will just, oh yeah, I can use a bit more movement. I'll just step back out of the doorway again. And that's me. All right. Orcos is going to calmly walk into the room, seeing the two guys on the floor and Adrastos <laughs> stabbing at the Minotaur. And he's just going to make his way around the room towards the other door. But that's as far as he's going to get. Actually, he's going to be closer to the wall because he's not dumb enough to get right on the guy. <laughs> All right, Hyrax. Right, so Hyrax, uh, in choosing to take the stairs, uh, has missed out on the action so far. <laughs> That's a little rough. You uh, definitely gonna... heard that, though. Yeah, I would say everybody's My beginning to hear these noises. So. <laughs> I probably did hear that. And hearing that, I am going to take my full movement over to the stairs, then take the dash action to get down them. Okay. We will get you down to the next floor here. Oh, I, it, it's just like this wonderful sensation when Roll20 actually works right, but it's mixed with a shock that Roll20 actually worked right. So <laughs> kind of lose track of what I'm doing. Okay. So that's going to put you on the next floor. All it's right. Up to you if you're going to exit the floor or not. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know how much movement it takes for me to head down the stairs. I, you know, we're just going to say you're right at that landing. Maybe okay. proceed. Maybe getting ready to proceed down the next floor. You might be at the next step of it, but you're not going to make it much further than that. I don't think. So. Yeah, I, I, I am going to go ahead down the next floor. But the next, yeah, I'm going to yep. keep going down because I heard a roar. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. We're good. <laughs> yep. All right, Ptolemaeus. Uh, I will take a step. Well, I mean, after the roar, obviously, I'll stand in the corner and realize this corridor is kind of small. And I will go into my battle mode. Um, <laughs> I will... For the first time in battle, use my not use my bonus action just to do bardic inspiration, and you see the the stars in his hair start to bleed into his clothes and skin, and I will activate the uh, the cloak of stars with Ooh. my bonus action, and nice. with that same motion, I will take one hand into like kind of with the same kind of leading effect of the hair and the stars in the hair I'll draw out an orb to uh and have it double to cast eldritch blast okay. at the minotaur oh okay with that same effect man that poor minotaur is getting creamed here and uh I will throw one into the minotaur first with this little starry orb here that is uh <laughs> It's okay. It's a 16 to hit. Uh, is that, that, that is not a hit. Okay, then I will do another Oh, attack. wait, wait, wait. You're hitting the Minotaur. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. I had the wrong sheet. Oh, okay. My apologies. Yes, then, it is. All right. That uh, will be... <laughs> I have to register that on the screen. Am I missing here. a... Oh. That'll be seven points of damage. Nice. All right. And then my uh, second attack will be a 19 to hit. Okay, that is obviously also a hit. And that is nine points of damage. Nine points of damage, all right. Yes, nine. yes. The Minotaur right. looks a little, a little cut up, and, but very angry. Very angry indeed. Good, I, mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, one, two... I think I will make my way a little bit forward into the room, a little bit further out. Okay. So it's like one, two, three, four, five after attacking to be a little closer to the to the woman. Okay. 
Okay. How long does how long does your frightened last address? Until the end of my next turn. So after this okay. turn, the frightened will fall off. Okay. So the first thing that's going to happen is the young lady drops the tray that she is carrying and hustles her way towards Tikaros, following the <laughs> instruction in her head as all this stuff goes on around her. Remember, everybody, if you hear weird instructions in your head mysteriously, always follow them. Always. 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 What Absolutely. the heck? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Well, the two guys on the ground being frightened, I believe that their primary goal would be to get away from you. Is that correct? They are actually um, they, frightened, right? They don't have to. They just okay. can't move closer to me and they'll have disadvantage to attack me. Okay. But... Well, considering that uh, Orcos is behind them, I don't think they're going to try to get away from you. Is what okay. I was thinking that they would not. Okay, well, I'm going to start from the top uh, down with their order of what's going on here, which actually means... I'm going to go back to uh, the second floor. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where the door opens. And a minotaur exits. Axe in his hand. And mm. sees Hyrax standing on the No, staircase. he does not see Hyrax. He sees his scout friend who oh, is... Oh, you're who... right! You're still oh, disguised! Yeah. I did say I never dropped it. You are correct. He's going to walk out and see you. Why aren't you on the roof? Uh. Okay. Great Why question. Aren't you on the roof. <laughs> it's a wonderful question. <laughs> Here's the thing. I could easily give some sort of answer see Woody, to it. I see a Woody Allen moment here. That's a wonderful question. Why am I not I on the roof? I could give some sort of answer to it, but it wouldn't be in the lookout's voice. That is correct. Uh, so I feel like I should just move down the stairs without telling him why I'm not on the roof. Uh, and that is going to be my plan of action. If he doesn't, if he, if he, Waits for my answer long enough that I have a moment to just run away. I am going to do that. I don't know okay. if it's my turn yet, is it? Well, he is going to, con it's not, but he is going to continue moving forward. You are just going to continue moving your way down. We will come back to that in a moment. So I will, I will say I may be holding an action for him depending on your response. So when it comes to your turn, we'll see what happens. I think that's only fair. <laughs> that is fair. That's quite that's fair. fair. All right. Adrastos. Oh, wait a oh, minute. Why am I jumping past say, all my guys? Are they not going to do anything? Crap. That's great. Holy crap. What is wrong with... Hold on a second. I'm talking to the fate over my shoulder. Just Okay. Oh, okay. <sighs> Don't ask me where I am tonight. I'm obviously not here. Okay, next thing that's going to happen is the Minotaur that you have been wailing on, um, being a bit upset with you at, at this moment and having been hit by Ptolemaeus as well, He's going to go for the first easy thing he can do, and he is going to swing his great axe at your head. That is a good target. Like the, the right choice. And that is going to be a 17. That will hit. All right. I'm not wearing my these, armor. I should have had these dice ready. I apologize that I did not. I do not know why I didn't roll the damage with it, but because I didn't expect to hit. That's why. That is going to be 22 slashing damage. Ouch. As he steps forward, swings at you, and then yells at the two on the floor, Fight him! And they are going to grab their spears, grab their shields, and stand up, which is going to take their entire action. Which is wonderful because you hear as the door over here to the side, let me get that back up on the screen for the streamers, this door over here creaks open and you hear this deep growl as this two-headed dog 
comes charging into the room. Looks for a moment and goes for the closest thing that it does not recognize as a friend, which is, of course, Orcus. And attempts to bite him once with each head. What two heads are for? Both of which are deflected by his spears as he brings them around and blocks their heads with them. However, he is followed to the doorway by yet another Hoplite. Kind of his keeper, apparently. Comes in with a spear in his hand, takes a quick assessment of what's going on, assumes that the dog has uh, things under control with the uh, weird guy in the red armor. Sees the Leonin on the uh, table and throws his spear at him. Okay. That is not great. Uh, well, actually, not too bad. That's a 19. Wow, that's not great. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Uh, and that is going to be a whopping five points piercing damage. Okay. And he now realizes, crap, I threw my spear. <laughs> and Adrastos, you're up. All right, so Adrastos takes the spear and the axe, and he kind of shudders for a minute, and he looks and he sees his friends, and he realizes he is the only thing standing between his friends and all of these problems. And he starts to sink back into his battle training, and then he looks at his arm, and he realizes all the things he sacrificed. And then he hears a voice echo in his head. And it says, it's, it's someone he recognizes. Irax, do you mind? <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's okay. Um, what you hear is, let go, brother. And so Adrastos tightens his grip on his spear, and with a mighty roar, Tam... I would like to rage. Hey. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. And uh, that Minotaur is about to not have a great day. I hope. <laughs> so, I think uh, yeah. His day's going pretty good right now. So <laughs> it, it hasn't raging. been going great. <laughs> <laughs> um, 16. That is a hit. Okay. Uh, so that will be 13 damage from my first attack. Wow. All right. And definitely hits because that's a natural 18. Yep. Um, that is minimum damage, which is nine. All right. The Minotaur is beginning to look quite bloodied. All right. Um, so that was my bonus action and my action. So I'm done. All right. I'm not moving. Excellent. Tikaros. Nice. I'm going to move forward to the doorway again. I'm going to speak into the poor, terrified woman's head again. Yeah, so we're the heroes of the Dawnbringer clan. Just come out here. We're going to keep you safe. We save people, apparently. And then apparently. I'm going to hurl a firebolt at the Minotaur. <coughs> That's with a Drastos. All right. Oh, slightly better. That's a 16 to hit. Uh, that is with a hit. With a firebolt. That is yes. a hit. Yes. Yes, so that 11 fire damage Holy into crap. the Minotaur. Yeah. I should have brought more Minotaurs. <laughs> I should have. This is a good you brought amount. plenty of Hoplites. I think that'll <laughs> be the right amount. I should have brought a bigger Minotaur. Anyway. 
And I'm going to awesome. just step back as well. Another little step back and just survey the scene. Awesome. And that's it. All right. Well, we're on a tour. Do what? Just imagining a bigger minotaur. I can't wait until you summon <laughs> the giant minotaur. minotaur. There's only a there. minotaur. I was, we need a megator. We almost defeat a... the minotaur, and Tam says, magic wand, make my monster grow. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's a regular tour. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Where's our megazords? Going, <laughs> right. I, was going, I was going for the Jaws reference. We're going to need a bigger boat. You know, we're oh, I know, but I decided to I took it in a different direction. I'm sorry. Up the ante. Well, the first thing that Orcos is going to do is he is going to take his spear that's in his left hand, jab it into the ground while jumping upwards. Oh. And he is going to move up into the air and almost freeze there. 15 feet in the air. It is my guy, Dragoon. Okay, Starman. <laughs> and then, like a Final he is Fantasy going Dragoon. To, then he is going to take his spear and come down and stab it, and immediately, full force, come down with the spear at the, the two-headed dog. The two -headed dog How high is each floor of this tower? Uh, pretty high, but I give you credit for it. <laughs> so he is going to uh, come down, smack into that thing, and the spear is going to cut through its body. It does a pretty good bit of damage. It does about 16 points of piercing damage against okay. it which makes it angry but unfortunately does not do anything to slow it down apparently <laughs> all right so that is going to be his uh hyrax you were hightailing it hyraxing it hightailing it <laughs> down the stairs uh you okay. you choose to ignore the minotaur and just proceed down the stairs are you moving at your uh dash pace or normal pace Sorry, if you want to change your mind on what you're doing, too, you can. I want to move at my normal pace, but if he's following behind me, mm -hmm. this is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to do it. Um, I would like to, with my action on my way down, uh -huh. reach to my belt, take out something that I've had this whole game but have not used yet, my bag of caltrops, uh -huh. and drop them and scatter them on the stairs behind me. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay. Um, what does he have to do? Is it a... Uh... It is a dexterity saving throw. I believe, I, it is, I believe it is DC 15. All right. Let me double Sounds check good that demand, for you. Well, if it's anything higher than 10, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a DC 15. He failed. He has, he has to stop moving when he fails it takes okay. one piercing damage and his walking speed is reduced by 10 feet until he regains at least one hit point wow wow he uh, steps which on one's... sorry you you glitched for a moment hmm? you glitched for oh a moment. i said which which will technically make him slower than me but yeah he also has to stop when he steps on it okay uh, he's falling behind you. He steps on it and he yells out in just anger. Hernius! What the hell? You can translate that to Hades if you want to. Uh -huh. Man, y'all, we got scary at level six. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to have to make you some tougher guys for you. This is awesome. I am loving No, 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 no. It's fine. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm loving this. So, uh, Hyrax, you make it down to the uh, first floor. Uh, the uh, other guy, indeed. however, the other guy does not yet. Although he is very angry at uh, you. Uh, uh huh. Well, I have so used I... my my action and my and my movement. Okay. Uh, can I use a free object interaction to open this door here? I assume sure. is a door. Yep. You gonna open the one closest to you? I'm yeah. going to say yes, and then roll 20 is going to say no. <laughs> Come on, roll 20, say yes. Be, be cooperative. There we go. All yes. right. All right. Hey, we're all on the same floor. Hey, we Ptolemaeus. are all on the same floor. <laughs> Ptolemaeus. Um, 
the Minotaur is looking real, real bad, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let Adrastus have that one. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the next one. Uh, where's that? Where's that spear chucking hoplite that doesn't have a spear anymore? That's the Which one. one is the, it? That is the one in the doorway here. Let me highlight him. There we go. Okay, this let one, me, right? Let me do a little bit more reveal on the area. I'm just gonna go ahead and reveal the front. Nobody cares, right? There we go. Okay, cool. Everybody can see now. Oh, whoops. All right, and then so there's there's these two guys, and mm -hmm. then the blue one's the Minotaur. No, the Minotaur is not marked. Okay, the Minotaur is the one that's not marked. The hoplites are the ones that are marked. I'm gonna go for the green one. The Minotaur is the yellow uh, one. Now, so there we go. Okay. Uh, I was like, I didn't see a yellow one. Um, now, now, now that's there. Uh, I will. I will. Uh, I will cast Mind Sliver on this one. All right. As uh, yeah, it's it. It's almost as like there's just a reverberation of 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 uh, energy that kind of distorts the air for a little bit before it hits uh, that guy. He needs to make a uh, intelligent saving throw of uh, fifteen. He failed. Okay. Excellent. That means. And that is seven points of damage, and he subtracts one d4 from the next saving throw he makes before the end of my next turn. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> I will make use of that. Um, with a bonus action, seeing... Uh, Seeing the rage that Adrastos is under right now, um, all I'm going to say is, we are with you, always, brother. And use that as a bardic inspiration to give to Adrastos. All right. Doom. Cool. Adrastos's mane grows a half inch. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, when you rage, does your hair grow out temporarily? It's like actual, just super saiyan, just. <laughs> Oh man. Um all right, okay. That's my turn. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, first thing that's going to happen is the young woman who had the tray previously, but I can't take it off the icon so she still has it, is going to run out of the room the rest of the way and cower in the corner. Yay. Good move. Good move. That's worst case. Nice. That's one done. Uh the Minotaur, while being beaten, uh realizes that, you know, this is a fight, and it's what he loves, and uh, Mogus would want him to be angry and uh, continue to fight. So he's going to take a swing at you with his great axe again. Does a 10 hit? Sure doesn't. Yeah, so he ain't doing so good since he's uh, been beat on a little bit. So can, um, can I dictate why it doesn't? Sure, please do. Just because I'm a barbarian now. So he goes to swing. And the uh, the axe like catches in Adrasos' shoulder, and he just pushes it off. Because now that my constitution adds to my armor class. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Flex. Uh, the the two uh, <clears throat> pardon me <clears throat> hoplites who were in fear of you at first, but now have been stoked back into battle. However, they're going to jabby jab at you with their speary spears. So. And the cool thing is, <clears throat> these guys make multiple attacks. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll all three attacks for each one. I'm going to roll the first ones here. Three. Oof. And that is going to be uh, a 16. That will hit. All right. That means the next one is going to hit since it is a 23. And I'm sure the next one hits because it's a nat 20. Oh, oh. yeah, that hit definitely uh, hits. Can I so. silvery barb that <clears throat> nat 20? Sure. I would like to make them re-roll that nat 20. I am more than happy to do that. Uh, that now becomes an 11. That does not hit. So that does not Perfect. hit. So the first two are still going to hit. 
The advantage goes to you, Adrastos, by the way. Excellent. And what was your uh, inspiration to D8? D8. Awesome. So those first two jabby jabs, uh, the first one's going to do eight piercing, the second one is going to do six piercing damage. Okay, so have that seven total. Because I am raging. Now I'm going to roll for the for the red cup light here. And that is going to be a 20, dirty 20. Mm -hmm. A uh, 23 and a 24. Yeah, those will all hit. Those will all hit. Okay. So that is going to be 7 plus 5 plus 5 damage. So 17. So when, when I have, do I round down or up? Uh, round down. Good okay, so I'll take nine, <clears throat> or, sorry, eight damage from that. Sorry, all of a sudden I'm choking over here. <clears throat> Must be all the excitement. <laughs> um, the now spearless uh, hoplite, having been zapped at by Ptolemaeus, is going to take this opportunity to place his shield up and charge across the room between the Minotaur and the Hoplites there towards Ptolemaeus. That's our distance Sounds across good. this room. Sounds good. Can I try to it's tag snappy. him as he runs by? Uh, yes, you absolutely should. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and use Ptolemaeus's advantage for that. Okay. Woo. Uh, that will be a 25. That's an absolute hit. Okay. Uh, nine damage. Okay. And I am going to take that disruption to throw him off his stride a little bit and give him disadvantage on his attack. Oh, he okay. was already disadvantaged. Well, because of my cloak. And he's really in sucky position, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't double disadvantage him, so, you know, ant, whatever. Nope. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it doesn't matter. It was still a very low roll and uh, would result in a nine to hit. That wouldn't, I yeah, think yeah. Is going to, I don't think that's going to do, so. All right, that's that good. That will not hit. And then, of course, uh, Doggy is going to attempt to bite uh, our good friend there once again. And this time, uh, Doggy is going to connect with him. And that is going to be a little bit of damage. Yeah, he's going to take uh, 13 piercing damage from this creature. As it bites his legs, the only unarmored part of his body, his arms and his leg. <laughs> Just gnawing at his ankle. Yep. And with that, Adrastos, we are back to you. Okay. Um, with a quick exhale of breath, Adrastos is going to and second wind himself. Because I'm getting a little low. Oh, I, I am going to bring the Minotaur that was following uh, Hyrax down, but he's not going to be all the way down the stairs. Just to be These clear, he was dice slain. love me. I will get my maximum heal of 17. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm yeah. All right. Um, and then I'd like to have a word with the Minotaur. And that word is stab at the face. That's a lot of words. Yeah, well. <laughs> Twenty-five. Yeah, I'd say that that does. <laughs> um, so that will be twelve damage. Um 12 damage, you stab into the face of the poor little Minotaur. This yes. Poor innocent guy. Uh, I don't feel bad for I, I will let you describe uh, how you uh, end the life of this Minotaur. Okay. Um, so as I shunt off the axe and I kind of throw him off balance, I'm going to smile at him and say, you remind me of a friend. And flip the spear around in my hand. Tell him hi for me. Just bury it in his eye. Right. And then pull it out and um, looking to the gentleman in blue, you should have stayed on the ground. And I'll stab him now. Let's go show here. Okay. All right. 
no, no, that is what I'll do. Because yes, I am raging, but the source of my rage is my friends and someone is attacking Ptolemaeus. So I'm going to stab at green. All right. Um, oh. 15. Uh, that is a miss. Okay. That is okay. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> Hold on. I have inspiration. How about an 18? Uh, that is a hit. Okay, yes. great. Yes. <laughs> For 12 more damage. All right. Right between them shoulder blades. Very good. You Why did I do this it. earlier? Raging's great. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All, right. All right, that's my turn. That's it. Okay. Tikaros. I'm inspired by the rage, <laughs> and I appear in the doorway again, and I scream, kill it with fire, <laughs> and I hurl another fireball. This time I'm going for the two-headed beast that is oh. fighting Orcos. All right. <laughs> and I'm not good at raging because that's a great big 10 to hit. That is a miss. <laughs> but it looked cool. <laughs> Fire goes flashing back. Fire the sparks wall. everywhere. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? That's it. All I right. survey the scene with narrowed eyes. <laughs> Adrastos will look to you and raise his spear because it looked awesome. <laughs> yes, that's all I needed. <laughs> Looked beautiful. Let's try to hit next time, Orko says. Okay, okay. <laughs> he is going to uh first off go jabby jab at the uh the dog, which is going to miss horribly. Orcos, what is wrong with you? Uh then he's going to take his other spear and bring it down on his on his head. That is actually going to connect. There you go, Orcos. But that is only going to do seven bludgeoning damage. But it definitely uh, does not make uh, Doggy happy. And he looks at it and goes, just get out of my damn way. Erex. Uh, so he is falling down the stairs after me. He hasn't yes. reached me yet. He is but, not. Um, can I see him? Absolutely. Yeah, I would say he's, you know, just coming around that bend of the stairs, so. I would like to cast Hunter's Mark before I move away. Okay. Uh, I'll cast Hunter's Mark on him. And then I will move over here. And putting my javelin away, I'm going to rest a hand. Uh, Hyrax is going to rest a hand on his quiver full of darts um and i would like to ready an action if i could okay give me the uh, give me the info as soon as he steps down the stairs uh or actually as soon as he steps through this doorway okay i would i would like to take uh a sharpshooter shot with my dart very good sounds good um, to me and if if I can still use my extra attack at the same time, I don't know if I can. You I can't. You can only hold one action there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Because then I believe it's a reaction, and extra yeah. attack specifies you have to do it yep. with your attack action. Yep. Um. All right. Fair enough. All right. Very cool. Alameas. How was this uh green guy looking? Uh, like one mean tough hombre. Mean and tough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. I, I love to hear that. Um, he, he's I, been stabbed a little, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him much. Okay, that's <laughs> great. Okay, sure. I will... Uh, You've been stabbed a little. <laughs> if that's the case, I'm going to use my, my patented combo. I'll use my bonus action and my action to, to combo the, the uh, what's his face called? Unsettling words into dissonant whispers. Okay. As I whisper into the, the man saying, you, you've caused an injustice here. 
And your life is now forfeit. This will not be painless. Uh, he <laughs> needs to make the saving throw. This is going to be cast at third level. Okay. Uh, it's a wisdom 15 saving throw. He okay. needs to roll the saving throw, then roll the d4 that he had before, and mm -hmm. then roll another d8 and subtract both of those from his saving throw. Oh, get him, Tully! That would be a one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this combo is really gross. Um, mm -hmm. but let's let's see how much damage it do. Holy crap! Uh, hold on. That's that is that is twenty five points of damage. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, that's twenty four points of damage. No, no, 25, 25, sorry. It's, like it's, hard, it's hard for you to tell from behind his shield, but you're pretty sure he put his hands up and grabbed his head, and he actually takes a step or two backwards. Out of your melee range and into Adrastos's, as he screams out in agony, his head is, like, scrambling on the inside. Okay, sounds good. Uh, that's that's everything except I mean, I I do I do have I technically do have a dagger. I can can I can I do a reaction to swipe at him? You <laughs> are. A, uh, that's why I specifically said he moved out of your melee range. It is up to you, sir. <laughs> Get him, Tully. I don't even know if this is gonna hit. This is definitely well. Actually, no. That's a eighteen to hit. That's a hit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm going to move him right back up here as he hasn't quite stumbled out. Three of points yet. of damage with the dagger. <laughs> Just three. Okay. All right. That's it. He, he definitely he definitely looks worse for wear as he stumbles backwards. Okay. I just kind of swipe him and barely hit him on the side of the arm where his shield is, I guess. Uh, Yeah, that's my turn. All right. Very good. In that case, uh, I guess we'll start with the, you know what, just to kind of mix it up a little bit, I'm going to start with the Minotaur on the stairwell, who is going to come bursting around the corner into the doorway, and Herax. Okay. Let me use my big D20. Please, 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 please. Guard him! It's a 12 to hit. That is a miss. I figured it was a risk, but it's okay. I can live with it. All right. The Minotaur, the dart comes flying past, sailing into the door, you know, kind of skips off the doorway. He lowers his head and charges at you full speed with his horns oh. forward. Uh oh. I wish he wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's, He's already made his choice. <laughs> <laughs> And I will say that uh, he is doing this rather recklessly. Ooh. Ah, Dear. it's a reckless Ooh. attack. Well, that means that I'll get advantage on my next attack on him. The, if you live long enough to do it, that if is I do, If I live, yeah. That, yeah. that is going to be a dirty 20. Well, that unfortunately will hit. Yes. All right. Excuse me, I have to collect a couple of dice because you know I wasn't anticipating doing this adva in advance. Until uh -huh. we no, that's mm. fine. And I need. It's fine. It's okay. You 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 have a bit of health, right? You got you got. It. I've got You're a pretty bit. hardy. I'm, yeah. I am sure he is just fine. Yeah. I doubt he will one shot me. I'll say that. I doubt he'll one shot me. Two shot me, maybe. That is going to be eighteen piercing damage. Yep. And I need a uh, strength saving throw, please. I am proficient in those. Good. We have a chance. <laughs> Let me use this die. This has been a lucky die for me. I'm going to use this die. Did you use your inspiration, by the way? Uh, inspiration? What inspiration? From, from before? I think I did use it. Okay. I did All use right, it, yes. 
Uh, that is a 21. That is good enough. All right. You are pushed against the wall, but you are not knocked prone. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah, he brings he up his shield just in time to get slammed into and pressed up against the wall. Um, <laughs> horns goring him on the sides. All right. Let's move back into this room. And first off, let's go with the uh, two guys who have spears and obviously are going to jabby jab because that's what they do. Can't help you this time, Adrastos. Jabby jab okay. against Adrastos. Uh, that's a miss. That's absolutely a miss with no mistake about it whatsoever. Uh, however, I assume that the 23 will be a hit. Mm -hmm. right. Good, good, good. Um. Um. Um, yes. Oh, okay. I would like to. Which one, uh, which one missed me? Red or blue? Uh, well, the blue one's attacking now, so it'll be the blue one. Okay, me. so um, with one of those misses, mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, take advantage of his extended sword arm and use a superiority die to repost. Okay. He's a gentlemanly gar uh, barbarian. <laughs> yes, quite. <laughs> I say so. You've left yourself quite rather open. I'd, uh, I'd like to rage. <laughs> Um, all right, so where is my there it is, repost. Okay. Uh oh, that's gonna miss. Oh well. Okay. So that is going to be eight piercing damage. All right, have to four. From Jabby Jabby number one. Uh Jabby Jabby number two. This is coming from the guy in red. Uh that's gonna be an absolute miss. Fifteen's a miss, I assume. 15 is not a miss. 15 is my armor class without oh, armor. Okay. I I mistook then. And is, the the other one's yeah. going to be a 23. You took off his so, breastplate. Yeah. The other one's going to be a 23. So that hits. Yeah. So I'm going to roll the two damages here. That's going to be 13 piercing damage. Okay. Have two six. Cool. Right. So the one who uh, was his head's aching and everything, um, he's just going to stand up with his shield, turn back, and yell something in. Uh, do any of you speak primordial? Nope. Okay. It's going to yell something, but uh, the dog. The two-headed dog is going to turn and face towards Adrastos and run for forward and jump up onto the edge of the table facing him. I lost my control of the token. <laughs> ah, yes, the age-old rivalry, dogs and cats. <laughs> <laughs> my greatest foe. And he opens his mouth, mouths uh, in your direction, and out, and molten rock spews forward from his mouth. And I'm going to need a dexterity Shh. saving throw, please. Oh man, I'm looking at that going, I want one of those as a pet. And this uh, this cone is actually extending 15 feet. So the guy's got his shield up and is kind of leaning back like that towards the edge of it. But Ptolemaeus, you are clearly in the cone as well. Well, Perfect. these dice really actually love me because that is a natural 20. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. All right. Well, you're still going to take a little damage from the molten rock, but not nearly as much as we thought you might. And uh, Ptolemaeus, how are you doing? I rolled a, uh, that's going to be a 23. Both of you made right? it. So both <laughs> of you, both of you are going to get seven fire damage. Okay. I don't get to have that. Wow. It's molten rock. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Like I got breath weapons. Okay. 
All right. And with that, uh, as the dog goes by, you know, Orcos isn't just going to let that go. He's bit him twice. So he is going to try and peg him with the spear as he goes by. And he is going to hit him with the spear as he goes by. And he is going to do some damage to him as he stabs him, but it isn't going to slow him down from what he's doing because he was given an instruction and follows it. So. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good How's boy. Green? <laughs> <laughs> How's green looking? Uh, green is in very bad shape. Okay, great. He's going to get stabbed. Okay. I hope. Uh, oh, yep, he's going to get stabbed. That's 25. Oh, absolutely. For uh, nine damage. He's dead. All right. Um, I will say as he dies, don't worry, your companion will be following you soon. And then I'm going to turn to the dog and take an attack. All right. Uh, 22. <clears throat> That's a hit. <laughs> uh, so that will be 11 damage. I'm going to move this guy back a little bit so I can hit the token for the dog here, but he's still right up next to you. So, All right. Definitely, definitely did some damage to him. Great. I'm not quite finished. Okay. I'd like to action surge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, and this time I'm going to do a fainting attack on the dog. Okay. Sending one of my superiority die. Uh, hmm, 15. Uh, that's a hit. Great. All right. Or... Can't do math, sorry. 14 piercing damage. Wow. All right. Puppy dog, and, you don't look too good. And for my last trick. Um, probably misses 13. Uh no, that hits. Oh, cool. Well. 10 damage. Doggy looks very bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh cool. That's me. All right. Icarus. I'm so impressed by the dog, but I have to help address those. And this time I'm not going to miss. I'm going to channel my sorceress power, spend a point, and shoot out two beams of firebolt. Okay. One at the hound okay. and one at Red Z here. Okay. Oh, that's good. That is a 21 and a 16. Uh, the first roll you said was at the dog. Best was for the hound, okay. 21. So the blast. 16 for red. The blast squarely hits the dog and misses the hoplite. Oh, at least I hit one of them. And it Fire hits the, damage, 15. It hits the dog Jeez. and it's like the flames just skitter down the side of its fur. Oh, and do no damage. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's also cool. <laughs> I really want to keep that dog. <laughs> I say to myself. Oh. And that's it. I just hang looking at everything. <laughs> oh, <God>. Me no fighter. <laughs> T. Gross just picks up the dog. Like a after the battle, the dog is the only thing left alive. And T. Gross just oh. holding it as much as she can in her arms and she looks and says can we keep it how, how did you know that was gonna happen did we'll you get you another one the and then the dog like hiccups a little bit of lava and we're like no no what what <laughs> you, you know what no. this means though you know what this means tikaros's chail because <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <that a> <laughs> i have not Same had a game everything. with an animal in it yet that she hasn't wanted to adopt <laughs> Well, I, I will tell you, Adrastos is very impressed and would 100% be on the side of Tikaros keeping this. Yes, you will. <laughs> I mean, be, if we could tame it, sure. <laughs> it'd be interesting. We'll have to we'll, see since no one speaks We'll get you one. another one, though. This one's mean. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, Orcos is going to look around the room and he's going to say out loud, I think you've got this. And he's going to make his way out of the room. Ooh. Blue and red care at all? Or are we not going to make a tax uh, opportunity or anything? Uh, I was thinking about the blue guy as whether he would or not. The red guy was a little out of range because I had him right up against the wall. Blue guy's not. All so right. just because, you know, uh, that's going to be a miss. He did take a swing at him, though. Sadly, he missed. Or I think good he missed. But anyway, so anyway, he's going to disappear out, and that would put him about right there. So what I'm done Cam with just over here fighting himself. <laughs> <laughs> and that means Pyrex. Right. So uh, are there any? Uh, we haven't opened any doors yet, right? Not this one. Not this one. Uh, well, if it'll ping. That door's not really, open. I, yeah. Really, I can hear sounds of combat. Oh, absolutely. The there is combat right. going on. You even heard Orcos through the door say, you've got this. Right. Um, not wanting to fight alone anymore. Would it, uh, Hyrax trying to fend off the horns of this thing, which have already stuck him in a couple of places with his shield. He leverages the shield up and under, tries to push him up just enough that he can sort of duck out from between the minotaur and the wall. He's going to reach over, try to open this door and move through. I'm not going to bother disengaging. He can take an attack of opportunity if he would like to. Oh, he absolutely will. I mean, there's no <laughs> doubt about that. Go for it. All right. That is going to be an attack with his great act. It's an okay yeah. axe. Let's be honest. <laughs> well, this today today it's a not so great axe because I rolled a two. Uh, well, that won't hit. Dice is gone. <laughs> so that uh, one's out of there. Uh, okay. May season eighteen. Uh, <laughs> so doing that, I'm going to then rush over to the opposite end of this room. As you charge into the room and you move within five feet of the guy in red, he reflexively turns and jabs at you with his spear. Oh, he jabs at the guy who looks like his lookout. That's rude. Uh, he's just reflexively, as I said, someone charging into the room. So You know, that's a dangerous reflex to have. But it, right. it is. Doesn't matter because I don't think a 14 hits. It does not. Well, uh, all right. Having avoided attacks of opportunity and made it to the opposite end of the, of the room across this battlefield from the Minotaur, uh, Hyrax is going to look at his friends and say, Minotaur. Uh, <laughs> somewhat just hmm. just casually yeah, almost. Cl clarify um, for me which friends you're looking at because <laughs> uh, he's looking at his crazy friends or, or his, his crazy friend here, Adrastos. Okay, and thank Ptolemaeus you. <laughs> over here. He looks okay. his 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 eyes flicker between the two of them and he says, Minotaur. And then <laughs> Adrastos. Reaches, and All then right. without any further explanation, reaches down to his quiver, pulls out another dart, and I'm gonna try for Two sharpshooter uh, shots, oh, all throws, right. which Ooh. should each be at advantage. All right, and this is against he attacked the Minotaur. Uh, they okay, should each be Minotaur. at advantage. Okay, cool. Yeah, they they will be at advantage because he recklessly attacked. Okay, which is very reckless. Yes, it was. Yeah. Right. That first one is a fourteen to hit. Uh, sorry. I just I just moved to his character, and I'm like, wait a minute. What did I do to his HP? Because that's not right. So I'm correcting his HP because I yeah. made an error earlier, and it will not let me change it. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, uh, that is a hit. Okay, <clears throat> it is. Oh well, this is gonna suck for him. <laughs> All right. So that first attack is going to be uh, two plus three is five plus what is it? So it's plus ten damage. So fifteen. Uh, so if I, so twenty piercing damage on the first attack. All right. And then an extra attack. All right. And that one is going to be a seventeen to hit with. That's a hit, by the way. 
four plus three is seven. So that's going to be 22 piercing damage on the second attack. <laughs> All right. are, these are both sharpshooter throws. Awesome. Both of them peg him very clearly, and he uh, he actually stumbles a little bit in the damage. Uh, all right. And having done that, let's see. That was move, free object interaction. Action. I still have a bonus action. Is there anything I can even do with that aside from? Nope. Not really. Okay, that's my turn. All right. As he takes his darts and just throws them into vital places as the Minotaur has left itself wide open. Wide for open. Its massive <laughs> gore attack. All right. Polymaeus. Uh. As Hyrax comes in and tells us Minotaur, I'll just say, I'll just kind of point at the corpse in front of him that he just walked past and just, we took care of one, we'll take care of the other one as well. And uh, I will once again uh, have my hair bleed into my hand, split the orb into two, and fire off Eldritch Blasts into the two-headed dog. All right. Sorry. <laughs> It's a mean one. Mr. Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the first one probably does not hit. It's a, uh, well, actually, 14? It's a hit. Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry. Um, shoot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whew. That is uh, three points of damage. Explain to me what it looks like when oh. your orb of power uh, destroys this two-headed dog. It, <laughs> <laughs> even though it's force force damage, um, it's it kind of almost carries like the 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 absence of 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 light and air from space. So it's almost like a frost that that goes across the dog as it uh, feels for. The star is buffeting it, and it feels kind of like the emptiness of space as uh, the breath of that creature is drawn from it, from Ooh, that nice. blast. Uh, it's, its breath, as you've seen it breathe molten rock, tends to be a glowing red and steamy, and it just suddenly... Nothing. Lapses to the ground, falls off the table. Great. Awesome. 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 Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. With that, though, uh, I don't know what the what the though was. <laughs> um, could I turn over to the doorway and still see the Minotaur? I don't think you have line of sight on him. From where you... ah, sorry, I grabbed is... the token on accident. No worries. That is perfectly fine. If I cannot, I will hit. I will aim. You the know, he, shot at Red. he he's considered to fill the square. You have line of sight on him. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, and this is the reckless one, right? So, yep. Uh, that will be a t dirty twenty to hit. <laughs> That's a hit. Okay. I mean, why do you have to be so reckless? The first one was a net one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's four points of damage. He has anger issues. It seems to run I... in the, the family. So. No. Run, runs in the genus apparently um that's gonna be i'm just gonna walk position myself next to the fireplace like so okay and uh so i can survey everything in the room and uh that's that'll be my turn all right so um while you are still disguised the one was reflexively attacked because uh all the fighting going on and he's had his bell rung a couple of times but i am going to give them an opportunity to wonder what the hell is going on as you did speak so they might recognize that it's not the voice they're used to. It's only one word, but I'm going to give them disadvantage on it. Okay. Because they are uh, distracted by battle. Um, the one in red, which is the one that took the shot at you, uh, is going to turn to the other one and say, That's not... 
I can't remember his name now because it's been too long. It's Uxenor or something like that. But anyway, I've got it written down, but I don't care. I'm not going to look it up. And he's going to say that it's not you. That you're not him or something to that effect. Yeah, that's okay. true. I would have dropped it by now, but I have to take an action to do that. So it's just kind of awkwardly <laughs> still Don't up. waste it. Don't waste it. Yes. <laughs> uh, they are, however, seeing their, their dog having fallen to the ground. They are a little bit amped up. And uh, I think they're more worried about the big uh, lion guy at the moment than anything else. But why? Else. I haven't done anything. Uh, except beat the snot out of everything. Um, I have done that. <laughs> so the guy in just red... Just imagine if I still had my long sword. <laughs> the guy in red is going to jabby jabby at Adrastos. And that is going to be an 11, which is, uh, I'm pretty sure, is an absolute miss. Okay, I would like to repost. Okay. That will also miss. <laughs> well, you're just trading misses. That's going to be a 10, which is a also miss. going to miss. Uh, the next one, however, is a 19. That will hit. All right, which is finally enough to hit. Mm. For a whopping two points of piercing damage. Have to one? <laughs> wow. Okay. Good one. job, bud. <laughs> he has Marto! been a little busy. He has been a little busy trying to figure out why the guy who looks like the guy isn't the guy. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the guy in blue over here, having received the instruction that that is not him, is still going to take a look at things and go, wait a minute, I'm still closer to Lion Guy. I'm going to worry about him right now. And jabby jabby there. Because, you know, moving across the room takes effort. Uh-huh. And he's been hit a few times. Uh, absolute miss. Uh, the next two hits uh, are 17s. Yes. Cool. Yes, Yes, they actually make contact? Y yes, they make contact. Okay. Gotta go get my scale mail. Don't let me forget, chat. Don't let me forget <laughs> to go back and get my scale mail. That is going to be 15 piercing damage. Cool. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. I love I, I'm just happy to say that after all of this punishment, I'm still in double digits. <laughs> <laughs> the Minotaur being primarily focused on the dude who damaged his foot with the cow drop. He's, you drop D4s on the ground, he's pissed. Yeah. And <laughs> then I stuck to... a pair of lawn darts in him. That's true too, you know. So he is going to charge at you. Once again. So that is going to be a gore attack, which where is my dice so I can uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. He can he can charge it, but I, I okay. All right. I'm what? I'm kind of diagonal from him. He can do that? He's going to I've got him running oh, up here. Oh goodness. And he's got enough distance he could turn Guys, and still hit you. He I may not run. I may not make it this turn, just FYI. He, he we'll could see what run happens. he has enough movement he could run through you. Oh jeez! Does he even Doesn't after he have minus ten after? Minus yeah, he 10? has minus ten movement after stepping on the caltrops. Ah, I did. That still persists. Okay, hold on. That 10, 15, 20, Yeah, that persists until 30. he is healed. That is still going to. He's still got enough room to uh, hit you. That's thirty feet. Mm. Damn. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. twenty-five, thirty. So yeah, he could still. All hit right. You. Sorry, dude. All right. <laughs> Oof. At least he is doesn't it, go through you, okay? Is it that's another, a, that's a is it another reckless attack? Is no, it a one a, or a twenty? No, is it's not. Is? And it is a nat one. So he is going to come mm -hmm. barreling past you, slip as he attempts to make the turn from the blood on his feet and smack into the wall over here. Ha! As he misses. Oof. Oof. I have made a bit of a mess of this floor. Ptolemaeus and I have, have done great work. With the help of Tikaros, we've made a big mess of this room. Yeah, you hate to see that sort of thing happen. Eh, it's just, oh. I drop my rage for just a second. <laughs> you, you hate to see it. You really do. <laughs> uh... which, which, sadly, this is the point where the Beholder enter, ex, enters from the fireplace. I'm joking. So. Oh, anyway, God. Uh... <laughs> The, it's a fire mimic. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's fire mimic. Just bites Ptolemaeus's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Adrastos, uh, you're up. Great. Um, I don't really appreciate being stabbed by blue. 
So well, I mean, I'm going to stab him back. And I'm going to use my last superiority die to uh, faint. Okay. Can I get the... No, I cannot. All right. Uh, 24. That's it? Okay. La -da -da oh, buddy. Uh, 17. Have you guys not, damage. Have you not hit these guys yet? Or did roll 20 mess up their HP? I've um, personally not hit blue. I don't think I've hit blue, no. Okay. Well, how much damage was that then? It just freaked me out when I saw his HP. 17. All right. Cool. Thank you. He goes, no Ow. problem. Um, once more. With gusto. Yes, with, with <laughs> great vehemence. <laughs> Uh, well, not so much, Gusto. That's a miss. All right. Anything else? Ah. Uh, continue to be terrifying and in the way. Very good. I like it. Icarus. I will continue to be totally threatening in the doorway. <laughs> I'm going to spend another sorcery point and shoot out Two bolts of fire at red and blue. Okay. And let's hope for a better result. <laughs> Don't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's 17 one. on the one. first one. 19 on the second. Let's go. Nice. Tick first around. misses. Nice. First misses, second hits. Oh, I'm going to get two hits one of these days. So which one did you hit? All right. So the first one I said was blue and then okay. red. So I'm going to hit blue. That All was right. the first roll. So that is going to be a massive 10 points of fire damage. All right. On he is blue. Not happy. <laughs> and I'm going to shoot a look at the, the that two-headed beautiful hound on the ground <laughs> and just start making my plans. <laughs> oh, no. She's taking up and necromancy. That's it. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, since Orcos has disappeared from the room, nobody cares what he's doing. Rx. Uh, yeah, so that Minotaur just shot past me, and I was... He, Irex was very relieved not to get gored again. Mm. Um, I really just can't, em can't emphasize enough how relieved he was. Uh, Hello, I, Raiders! Okay, sorry. Oh, hey, I just we thought got we got raided nice. at some point. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi. I've been a little busy. It wasn't. It wasn't a reckless attack, though, was it? No. Otherwise, I imagine he would have had advantage and not roll a one. Yeah. 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 Um, well, with my luck, I could have rolled two ones. You just never know. By the way, that dice is out of here. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! It hit the back wall, came back, and hit me in the foot. That's better than it did attacking <laughs> you. Does, I'm back. That dice yeah. said, "No, Tam, you're out of here." Uh, <laughs> Oh, no, Fire Lord Jose, you're not wearing pants. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I understood that reference. Um, I uh, Hyrax is going to draw his javelin from his back and go in for a couple of stabs up close and personnel. Awesome. Um, so first stab is what is that? Twelve plus six is going to be. Uh, eighteen. That's a that's a hit. Uh huh. Yeah, five plus one plus. Oh, only plus three because I'm not throwing it. I don't throw things enough. Um. <laughs> so that is nine piercing damage. Okay. Second attack. Uh huh. That is seven plus six is thirteen. That's a miss. Oh, well. well. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do much else with my turn at the moment. Uh, I don't fancy taking an attack of opportunity. All right. That's fair. Sounds good to me. Philomaeus. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. All right. I will not want to waste too many resources for some reason. Uh. Blue. 
Blue is going to get hit with a uh, a, a sickening green greenish energy lash as I whip out a uh, a ray of sickness at the. Don't. <laughs> I'm just not. like you know. Never mind. Uh, I won't yeah, go with the nope. visual. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Um. Uh. Anyways, it's a ray of sickness. It's a, it's a Constitution saving throw at fifteen. We're Help just gonna go Okay. It is considered poisoned. He is down with the sickness, and he is taking <laughs> fourteen points of poison damage. Wah. <laughs> He looks at you, being hit with this green stuff, looks at you, goes, and falls over dead. He's dead. Oh, okay. Well, Was that a laugh or the beginning of a disturbed song? Ooh, ah, ah, ah. It was. <laughs> it was <laughs> both, actually. Yeah. He got down with the sickness. <laughs> yeah. That's what I just said. <laughs> it is? Yeah. Yes. It was yes, a that's what, sickness. That's exactly oh, what he was yeah. going with. Oh, yes. I missed that. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, no, it's good. I'm, I'm glad that you and I were on the same wavelength. <laughs> We did the same exact thing. Yep. Okay. All right. Um. I. I. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's it for my turn. I think. Actually, you know what? Now that he's dead down, I'm gonna be behind this table because there is no. There are objects between me and the Minotaur, so he can't charge at me right now. <laughs> okay. So that's. That's all I'm gonna do. That's it. All right. Well, the remaining hoplite seeing his friends fallen, he is going to actually step up onto the edge of the table as he forces his attack forward. And that first one is going to be a pitiful 10, which is going to miss. The second one, I believe, is an 18. And I believe that's a hit. Mm -hmm. right. I would like to. I would like to. Uh, silvery barbs. Silvery barbs. <laughs> that one. Yeah. I would like to do one of those. I would like to. Um, <laughs> I, might, oh, I have my glasses. I, would, I, like I, I have my glasses this time too. Yeah, but see, because of that. the light when you do it, it just looks like the cool anime thing. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to comment um, on that after the stream. I'm not going to comment on it here. That is a that right. one. I would like to give that advantage actually over to Tikaros. Awesome. Get, get her that I love it. Two, the fireball oh. stuff. His last, bolstered. his last stabby stabby, however, is a nat 20. Bring it on! It's fine. I can handle this. <laughs> and then I roll one on the extra damage. That, that is going to be uh, 14. Piercing damage. Still next to damage. 7. He still hasn't taken me out. Awesome. Minotaur boy is going to uh, lean over at Hyrax, take his axe up high and just yell at him and slam down with it. And Dad Gummit, he's mad. He's not thinking straight. And a it's, reckless attack. It, it's got to be reckless. I just think that's oh, what no. he would do at this point. Because, don't kill me, uh, Tam. He's like, I hope don't not kill him again. You've got another character. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. That was a three and a four. <laughs> Love it. Ooh. Love it. Love that for you. <laughs> yep, so he takes his axe. It's hard being a screen. DM. Okay. Anyway. I know, I've been one. his defiance and swings down and Hyrax just with... Uh, not a sound at all, just staring at him with wide open bird like eyes, just quickly steps to the side and watches the axe crash down, <laughs> then looks back up at him. That's that and like almost, too much coffee moment, you know, and Everything almost kind of like down. tilts his head to the side a little bit. <laughs> he's so he's so angry, he snorts blood, you know, <laughs> bleeding from the eyes. He's, he's just... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, with that. Drasto, sure. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, screw this guy in particular. <laughs> I'm going to stab him. As he stabbed me. Funny, that's actually his middle name. Stab him. Uh, okay, well, stab him's been stabbed with a 22. 
that is a definite hit. For 11 damage. All right. Um, he's bloodied. Great. I believe that is a miss. So that, I don't think there's anything else I can do with the bonus action right now. Nope. Okay. That will be it. Very cool. Ticaros! Yes! I just feel like my focus is intense after looking across at Ptolemaeus and feeling like that influx of guiding energy. I'm going to hurl my firebolt at the Minotaur with advantage, right? Okay. Yes. Well, if, if you throw it at the Minotaur, it's already at advantage. Yeah, because he's reckless. Cause he's oh, reckless. Yeah. of course, of course. So I can keep my advantage. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. <laughs> yes. Good. All if right. Everybody's going to help you. That's fine. No. I oh, don't. natural 19 plus 7 is good. 26 oh, that's, to hit. That is an plus, excellent yes, hit. Yes, yes, yes. Good job. <laughs> All right. Good job, Tikaros and Tolly for the guarding energy anyway. Because <laughs> she just, yeah, she took that on board. My oh. clan is behind me, and I did terrible damage of five fire. <laughs> <laughs> damage is damage is damage. Exactly. That's true. This is true. It's hard, to, it's hard to it's hard to tell the damage from the steam that's naturally rising from his anger <laughs> <laughs> as it joins it and vaporizes the sweat that has accumulated on its fur. I assume. Yeah. I mean, do cows only don't cows sweat through their tongue though? So I don't know. Anyway, that's another thing. <laughs> That's it. What a <laughs> All right. We don't care what Orcos is doing. He's in another room. Hyrax. All right. So Hyrax is still locked in mortal battle with this guy. I really want to get some distance on him and start throwing things at him again. But if I back away without disengaging, Tam is definitely going to nail me with the uh, attack of opportunity, which he really wants to do. Or I'll probably miss, to be more accurate. So, okay, and now that you've said that, now you would definitely hit me. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a hit right there. Uh, no, I'm going to stay in melee for now. Okay. Ill-advised or not. That is going to be 14 to hit. That hit last time, right? Uh, yes, that's a hit. That's 8 plus 6. And then that is... Six plus three plus three. So that is 12 piercing damage on that first hit. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot. It's a reckless attack. Let me roll it with advantage to see if I can. Ah, it. yes. No luck on the crit fishing, but this one I will. All right. Please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please give me something. Uh, best I've got is a dirty 20. But That's still, a hit. Ooh, That's but a hit. still, that is max damage. That is, well, max damage. For a melee attack, uh, is um, fifteen piercing damage. Please describe to me the death of the Minotaur. Okay. Well done, uh, Rx. Yep. So as the Minotaur overcommits with this axe uh, swing, and Hyrax steps to the side and watches it, he looks back up, takes his javelin gets in low and does a quick jab at his gut and then uh, steps in and with his shoulder drives one of the darts still sticking out of him deeper in it. <laughs> as the Minotaur, as he's right under the Minotaur, uh, the Minotaur is presumably roaring in pain. Mm -hmm. He uh, plants his javelin against the floor, sticking straight up, reaches up, grabs the Minotaur by the horn and pulls his head down impaling it on um, the javelin set against the floor. Awesome. He lets out, he loves to let out one last roar and it kind of gurgles as he just goes limp. And congratulations on that one. Anything else you would like to do? Um, no, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, haven't I done enough? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was wanting more. I think I'm good. Elimaeus. Uh 
Yeah, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast this guy. I'm gonna okay. do it twice. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see if this is this is uh this first one's an eleven. That's not gonna hit. That's a miss. Yeah. Uh, the second one is a nat twenty though. Nice. All right. Okay. Um. That is nineteen points of damage. Wow. What happened to my dice? Why is it? Why does it look like this? Ah. Oh. Nope. That's just right. Yeah, it is nineteen points of damage. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. In the best Hollywood style of someone getting shot with a shotgun, your Eldritch Blast hits him, knocks him off the table. Back into the wall, and he crumples to the floor. He's gone. Oh, did I million dollar baby him? I million dollar baby him. He is dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and with that, we are no longer in initiative. All right, who looks most hurt out of all of us? Probably me. Probably I'm, at I'm at nearly half health. Um, On a scale of 1 to 61, I'm at a 4. Whoa. <laughs> right. Uh, Hyrax, uh, despite having, you know, a couple of bleeding gore wounds or whatever. Uh, I think Adresso still has like three spears in him. <laughs> he looks at Adrest, Adrastos, walks over and starts trying to tend to his wounds. I'm going to cast, uh, let's see, a second level cure wounds on him. Let me go ahead and roll. What are the Hoplites armed with? Because I'm going to allow myself to be healed as I like pull the spear out of my side, throw it they to the all, ground. They all have spears <clears throat> and shields. Okay. Drastos, please don't pull so quickly. I'm not done yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you that wasn't me? In the strictest sense. Depends. We bricked him. <laughs> I'm not the only one who got that, so... <laughs> oh, I, I got it. All of us laughed, too. Damn so. it! <laughs> I didn't even notice what I said. <laughs> Um, that's you. I, I, the first uh, casting heals you for 17 HP. Awesome. <sighs> and then I'll follow up with another level one one just for good measure. Okay. I feel like you could use it. That one is only going to be six health. That is okay. That brings me up to 27, which is a little below half my health. But that's okay. So yeah, he just sort of sets to work helping you uh, remove these weapons actively <laughs> in your body before uh, putting a hand over each one, whispering a quiet prayer and healing them over to the best of his ability. Mm -hmm. Do any of them have anything other than great axes? Is there any weapons in here other than great axe and spear? Oh, uh, that's it. That's okay. what they were carrying. All right, I'm better off with the javelin then. While that's happening, I would like to run over to the two-headed fire beastie mm -hmm. and cast Spare the Dying on its fur and patting its two little heads. Okay. Orcos is going to uh, walk in about the time you do that, and he's just going to look at it and just shake his head. Did you see anything else on the on the other floors? Nothing you need to see. Adrastos, let's get your armor back. And... If we all want a little bit of a rest, I could, I could aid in the, the healing, as well, Hyrax. And as I'm saying this, the 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 stars kind of drain from my clothes and and everything, and just go. I made a bit of a mess here. Um, Adrastos is going to um. 
take a little bit of the blood that was on the Minotaur with two fingers, and he's just going to quickly draw a symbol of Mogus and tap it twice and then walk out. I did not think Adrastos worshipped any gods. I don't. It was for a friend. Well, I wouldn't suggest that that type of anger be good for your health. I suppose we need anything we can get at this point. I don't plan to give in to rage often, but in the protection of my family, anything. Well, we'll make, we'll make sure to keep that anger in check then. Don't worry, I have it under control. All right. I personally think we should take a little bit of a rest, but... A rest also, would be nice. Orcus, you said nothing else of the tower is, is of interest for us? The young woman's just standing in the corner after having entered and said, is it safe to come out? And it, Orko says, there's no one else alive. Nothing else of value to see. And he kind of looks a little sideways at Hyrax. You know, kind of like... Hyrax would notice this because of his great perception. Yeah. Hyrax <laughs> nods. Understanding that... Whatever, uh, whatever it is that he saw on the other floors is not pretty. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Also, knowing, just knowing where he comes from on my on my end, I'll just be like, "I believe you." Let's get out of here then. Harax looks at the girl. Uh, you can't stay here. It won't be safe until, well, if someone sends reinforcements. Where am I to go? If you're saying everyone's dead, the animals are the messages that we're supposed to deliver to the Krimnos. Did you we, say messages to Krimnos? Yes, yes. There is no one to deliver messages to Krim, uh, to at Krimnos. What? But uh, we we have. We had the messages and, and, and the money. And Krimnos has what, like less than a dozen people left? Uh, at, when you last saw, and they weren't doing well. Yeah. Krimnos has less than a dozen people left living in it, if you can call that living. What, they what happened? In, in Melitus? Fish. We were supposed to go on to Melitus. They have a terrible affliction. Oh no, I hear another hound of hell coming forth, barking One in the distance. <laughs> an affliction that rots their flesh in a matter of hours, and most of the village has been burned. She just kind of sits down on the floor. And... I'm sorry. But then how are they supposed to know about the, the battle? How are they supposed to call the... The Satessan army home. She walks over to a box that is sitting on the corner, kind of out of the way, you know, it just kind of got shoved off to the side. And she brings it over and sets it on the table. This was... This was part of setting up a new shop in, in Krimnos and cows and... I'm sorry, but if you had set your shop up er any earlier, you may already be dead, like so many in Krimnos. She's I don't need to, to be callous, but perhaps you should be grateful that you were not caught in their fate. 
she's going to open the box, which she obviously struggled to put it on because of the weight. She's going to kind of dig around in it and she's going to pull out a couple of bags that uh, look to be carrying gold pieces. They're fairly heavy. And then she pulls out one clear stone and three red colored stones. Do we know what those are? Um, one might presume they're a diamond and three rubies. Does that diamond look like it uh, could be worth 500 gold pieces? Uh, maybe more like 50. Oh, okay. 50? That looks supremely useful for my purposes. Do you say this out loud? Yes. But it's... It's it's my family's. How much is it worth? I I, I this was everything we had. I I was told it was it was sixty gold pieces. Uh, Hyrax will take out sixty gold pieces and hand it to her. May I buy it from you? I'll have enough trouble carrying these other two bags. Where am I going to walk to? He looks to the rest of the group. I hate to ask if we can take a passenger with us. I was I just about to ask the same. I know we are going to Tavi, but after that, I would perhaps like to go to Satessa. That was my plan as well. You're, I'm certain they'll from, take her in. You're from Satessa. Indeed. I have friends there. She'll walk over to this bloodied leather bag that's laying on the ground and pick it up and open it and it's blood all over her hands and she grabs a, a flyer thing out of it, a parchment, and hands it to you. And it is a call for all of the Satessan army to return home and prepare for battle. What is the meaning of this? With whom the Satessa battle? Why, Akros, the truce has been broken. So, Nile and Iros still have a grudge over what happened so long ago. Well, we we haven't heard from Eros. No, no one knows where he is, but. Nali is very angry. Our mission became much more dire. We need to find out what we can about the imposter. My lady, what is your name? Oh, great. You gotta make me look that up. Yes. <laughs> Melandria. Andrea. We will be traveling into more dangerous territory, but you should be safe within the cart that we have. It is probably better than traveling alone, but it is still up to you whether or not you would like to join us. If we are successful in our endeavors, we will be traveling to Satessa afterwards. Well, if you'll you'll take me to Satessa, that's and I I can pay, and she'll you know just kind of push the gold back at Hyrex. All right. We we can't take her money, can we? We we don't need it. This could be a an act of charity. Don't need the money. Well, look, the diamond is just to help protect her, really. If I had it in my possession, I could use it to do some pretty good defensive work. And you will need the money to start a new shop in Satessa, will you not? I'm not going to be able to start anything without my family. I'm just... Your family was in Krimnos. My family's lying dead outside. Oh. 
I'm sorry. I'll go back to Satessa with what I have. Give it to the temple and maybe they'll give me a place to stay. My experience with Satessa is that it is very good at finding a place for people who find themselves with no one else. I know it doesn't seem like much now, but your life is a great gift. I'm sorry we did not arrive soon enough to save your family, but you are alive. You have that, at least. And in Satessa, there will be things for you. Melandria, I noticed that they had you holding that silver platter serving something. What were your specialties with your family? What was your duties when it came to the shop? Mm -hmm. I... I was just cooking for the family. My father was a carpenter. Um, and my my mother was, was good with the animals. She was able to teach and train them. And we had one beautiful horse, but I assume it's dead. The two draft horses with the carts are... I saw them killed. Your horse may yet live. We did see one on our approach. White. Yes, a white one. Yes. Ah. Well, maybe we'll be able to bring it back. Well, I would feel it remiss to take any of your gold for the trip, especially since we're taking you into quite a dangerous situation before returning you to Satessa. But I wouldn't want you to feel like you owe us anything. So how about this? We've made do with the food that we had, but we have all the rations and everything, and if you could help prepare the food during the nights on our trip, that's all we ask of you. And just to borrow the diamond. And she'll hand it to you. I'll try and take good care of you. Um, this is no place to linger. No, it's not. Let's find ourselves a good place to rest, set camp, and Maybe test those cooking skills. I need to recover my, my scales, but I can meet up with you. The scales, the horse. Let's get the cart out of, out of here. Hi, Rex. Do you yes. think, is there any way that we could wake this beautiful hound up and make friends with it? In your uh, experience. Hyrax is going to look at this two-headed dog. Is it dead, Tam? Uh, she did spare the dying, so I assume it's on the edge of death. Uh, uh, I'm what do I know about a creature like this? Is it a monstrosity? You know, I gotta look that up. That is a darn good question. Uh, it is an aberration. No, <laughs> yeah, because if it, it is, might be. if it's a mon it might it could be anything. It could be if it's a hound of hell, it could be a fiend. It's just a fire puppy. It's definitely not a puppy, but... <laughs> <laughs> it is a medium monstrosity. Uh, I would like to roll to see what I know about it. What, can, what skill would that be? Uh, gosh, we're kind of... Um... Could I roll... Could I feasibly roll nature? I was thinking nature, so absolutely. Okay, good. Then I will roll with advantage. And if I can get the actual page to open here. And with advantage, I've rolled a 17. Well, I think that's going to be good enough to know a little bit about it. 
give me just a moment. I'm trying to get the page with the actual details on this one to load up. Mm -hmm. Man, when my machine crashed, <laughs> it crashed hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> give me just a minute. I have to log into things, so. Oh, annoying. Sorry for all the clicky clack, people. Good thing I hid the screen so my password wasn't on the screen. Just joking. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. <laughs> I may be dumb, but I'm not that dumb. Why is it not letting me see? Okay. <laughs> What's Twitch doing to me now? Uh, let's see. These are relatives of the three-headed hounds of hell, the Cerebus. They've actually been bred with mortal wolves, so they are a crossbreed. Uh, they actually, you would know that they tend to be in that realm that they would call lawful evil. Lawful they, evil. Lawful evil. They are intelligent and, enough to be evil? Mm-hmm. Oof. And, well, according to this, you know. Um... They only roam on the mortal side of the Tartix River. And again, you used to be friends with an evil guy, so who knows? Yeah, yeah. Um, they don't really, they don't really uh, mess much with the souls of the dead, which makes it very interesting that they would be, the army of Erebus Dawn would be interested in them since they are going after the returned. Uh, this creature is not... Like a dog that you would normally train, Tikaros, it is intelligent and usually of a malicious nature to some extent. They are descended from the hellhounds of the land of the dead, but bred with mortal wolves. Uh, Tam, I don't imagine that this could be trained per se, could it? You could you wouldn't exactly domesticate it. Yeah, it's not in the animal list per se for like animal handling and stuff. So I'm a fairly lenient DM, but I think there would be some challenges to that. Number one, uh, while it does understand primordial, obviously it doesn't speak. Primordial is its general language, apparently, from what you've heard. You couldn't understand it, but you know. Yeah. Some, some language you don't up, know. <laughs> I almost picked up Primordial as my language, but I went a different direction with the favorite enemy last time, so. Yeah. And uh, you also know that they now spit fire, our molten rock, and uh, they have a habit of eating their anything they fight, so. They love human be, meat. So. I think this would be exceptionally dangerous to try and befriend. Mm. All right. It's just such a good ally. It spews fire. All well, right, you, though. I'm sure if we wanted, we could probably find some sort of anvil artis artisan that could cre recreate something that spits fire as well. It seems we're... We're putting a lot of our hopes on anvil rod artisans. I'm just trying to move it ahead into the future. I wonder so, if they are so magnanimous that they will do whatever we ask of them. No, they're not. They won't. It's all about price and what they can do and what they cannot do. Well, as for what how, they can do. Seeing how Prime is... And Bubo, there's quite a bit that they can do. With your permission, Tikaros, I think it would be best not to leave this creature alive. Well, 
I can't kill it. And I'll walk out of the room. Orcos will walk over immediately and just stab it with a spear. Oh, I was going to do that. Not a problem. Drassus is going to get his armor. I'm going to go sit with Prime in the cart. Back where we left him. That's the case. Hyrax, would you mind bringing the white horse back with, the, with us to the cart? I'll accompany Melandria back to the cart as well. Uh, yes, Hyrax does so. Rukos begins walking around to the bodies of the fallen and placing coins in their hand. He even places one in the mouth of the the mouths of the uh, service. Oh. Do we all take a short rest or anything at some point? Probably when we get back to the cart. Gotcha. Yep. In which case, I was uh, going to say, as soon as we get back to the cart, uh, to... Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't want to set camp here, per se. It's a little too close to... It... it to everything that's here. I the massacres and everything. If we could stomach the travel, let's travel a little bit further into the woods before we set camp. I know it was on Orcos's recommendation, but I feel I should thank you for ultimately helping me to clear Hunter's Crossing. It wouldn't have sat right with me. We had the cart when you say like that. It was going to. Sorry. No. I assume everybody's back at the cart. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. But unless anybody so disagrees. After Tully says that, um, address will say. Besides, playmates don't go off alone. No. I've lost one clan already. I don't intend to lose a second one. We're here to do the best that we can in the time that we have. And what's a couple of stupid decisions along the way? Especially when they're for good moral causes. I don't tend to think that good moral decisions are very stupid. But I understand your reasoning. In a different along. sense, yes. <clears throat> We're short on time. I can Let's give go. you... I can give you a break driving the cart. That will be welcome. Thank you. Hyrax will take the reins. Right. Is Orcus still with us? He is. He's just standing off to the side, listening to everything. Are you traveling along side with us again? Or... Actually, I'm hoping not to see you again for some time. Sounds good. I'm headed to Asphodel, following the trail of death. If you are headed to Asphodel, then, with no offense intended, I hope not to see you either. He actually laughs a little bit at that. Well, then I, I suppose here's where we part ways. Good journeys. You as well. Try not to need my services. <laughs> and he'll put his spears over his shoulder and start walking away. As he goes, I call out, you're going to miss us. You know you will. Just a little bit. <laughs> he just kind of shakes his head and keeps going. <laughs> And he starts humming a tune as he walks off into the distance. Hmm. Do we recognize it? Uh, if you would like to uh, roll me, let's do a perception on this to see if it uh, seems familiar to you. Totally love to do that. 
perception. That's going to be 18. 20. Oh, 20 is definitely going to be good enough. Wow. 18 is pretty good, too. So. 17. Um, he's actually humming a tune about an ancient warrior. So we're talking probably 600 to 700 years ago. Um, Megastius Herodotus. Ah, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> that guy. How do you spell that? <laughs> I'll be glad to uh, send that to you in a chat. I know that guy. <laughs> Please do. It, it would be a name that you would be somewhat familiar with. Um, he was one of the, the great warriors of Heliod. Hmm. Before he uh, mysteriously disappeared. Just like one As... day he was fighting in big success, and uh, the next day he wasn't the one sung about. It was actually someone else. Um, Polyphontes, as a matter of fact, comes to mind. Hold on. Does Ptolemaeus know that exact like line of like that, that story? Of how um... it... What did you roll? <laughs> I, I, ro I rolled a 17. I'm going to say yes. And if he yes. doesn't, would I with a 20? Okay, so. I, I'm going to say yes. You're all familiar with it. It's something you would have heard of. Hmm. <laughs> what, what if just hearing the tune, we all sort of start to softly sing in unison? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes. We all know the song. <laughs> Cute. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> Just be glad I didn't write a song to go with it. You had to listen to my oratory of two Greek tales earlier. That would have been worse. Oh, uh, Grandpa Orkos and his tales about <laughs> warriors. I saw I'll just start that. singing Misty Mountains Cold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So everyone is going to proceed on their way to uh, the Lost Village of Tali. Yes. Which Do we is... get a long rest as we travel? Uh, considering it's a... Uh, Two or three day drive to get there. I will say yes, absolutely. Oh, oh okay. We get a long rest. Nice. Yep. And I think what we can do uh, next time is maybe that's where you'll arrive.